All right. Okay, you should be able to hear me. No, you're not tripping. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you're tripping or not. You might be. I don't know what you do in your uh, free time, but um, no, I, I forgot. Like, I mute the PlayStation camera microphone because I don't like the PlayStation listening to me at all times. So I always mute it, and then sometimes I forget to unmute it. So that was my bad. You're not tripping as far as that's concerned anyway. So, so yeah, sorry about that. Hey, Obis Wolf, what's going on? Hey, Demetrius, North Carolina. Nice. I'm from Virginia originally, so I spend some time in North Carolina every once in a while. I do. Um, it's going pretty well. I'm really excited about Comic-Con. You asked when was Comic-Con, SBO. Comic-Con is this weekend in New York, and it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hey, Don. It's 30, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this week, and I'm really, really excited. I did not get to go to Comic-Con last year because they did the whole fan verification thing. I didn't know, and basically, long story short, I did not go to Comic-Con last year, and I was a little upset about it. So this year, I'm going two days. Yes, I'm going. I'm going Thursday and Friday. I was originally just going on Friday, but then... Um, my cousin, who's in town for work, um, he bought me a ticket for Thursday, so I'm going with him on Thursday, and then uh, and then going on on Friday. So let me move this thing. I have this thing up here, and it's like casting casting a shadow. So I've been building. I'm gonna show like everybody. Like once people get in here. Um, I will show you like what I'm working on. This is I'll, I'll I'll give you a little sneak peek. So I painted this today. I painted this. Um, this is the basis of my Wonder Woman costume. So I've been working on it today. That's why I'm like like I'm like not all like glammed up or anything today because I'm been working on my Comic Con costume for the past for the past couple days like I'm not a cosplayer oh I haven't seen gifted yet I did I um I I uh DVR'd it so I have not seen gifted yet so I definitely want to watch it I did watch um Inhumans and I'll talk about that as well um yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt a cosplay for uh for Comic Con hey Mach Benai, what's up how are you and my people say hey Jesse I'm good. I'm good. It's good to see you. Good to see you. The pants I have on make make noise in this chair. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going. I'm going to Comic Con. I'm going to Comic Con Thursday and Friday. Oops, Thursday and Friday. Here's some of my pieces of um, like so. Okay, so I made. I made like my own armor. This is not, this is not good. Um, so I made like my own armor and everything for my Wonder Woman costume out of craft foam and my heat gun. This is my heat gun that I used. I, I do need to work on something. So I'm going to work on something like while I'm here with you guys because I am trying to get this done. Um, you know, hopefully I'll have it all done I, I need to have it done by tomorrow because I'm going to be at Comic-Con Thursday and Friday. I'm only dressing up on Friday, though. Um, who do you think I'm going to be? Oh, okay, Mark Benai. Well, thank you, for, uh, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. Have a good day at work and all of that. Um, Batman. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be Batman. Yeah, I'm going to be Batman. This is a hint back here. This is a hint. This is a hint. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I'm on a little earlier today than I normally am. I know people are normally looking for me like around eight o'clock. I came on earlier today because I want to. First off, I want to finish this cosplay. That's number one. Number two, I want to get some gaming in because I have not been uh, gaming as much as I want to. So um, Destiny has been calling me, so I want to get some Destiny, and I'm going to stream some Destiny gameplay. Uh, today tonight after I after I finish this too it was too obvious hey Deadpool what's up what's going on hey Ja what's up I'm good I'm good I'm really excited about Comic-Con I'm really excited 
about Comic-Con. I'm working on, um, working on my costume. It's not quite ready yet. First off, I don't really know anything about cosplay. Um, I've never done cosplay before. I mean, I, I, okay, I guess I have, like, you know, for Halloween, I guess that can be kind of considered cosplay, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Um, I've never really done cosplay. I'm not a cosplayer. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not very crafty, but I decided I was going to make my own Wonder Woman costume. And, and here I am amongst all the pieces of what I'm, what I've made so far. This is my breastplate. Even though I, I'm not happy with this, so I'm redoing it. I'm not happy with the way this turned out. I had some glue mistakes, some problems with my glue. So, um, so I'm not going to use this, this breastplate, but this is, this is the breastplate for my Wonder Woman for the top part, for the top part. That's what this is. But I'm not really happy with the way it turned out. So this is my spare in case I completely screw up the second one that I'm that I'm doing that I'm in the process of doing, um, which is this, which is this one. This is the craft foam. This is what I was uh, using, and um, it should be dry now. It should be dry now. I can take this tape off. Hey, Allie, good to see you. Good to see you. Wait. Uh, hey Sasha there's a skateboard in the background there is a skateboard in the background yeah there is a skateboard in the background this is my Delic board I used to skate like a long time ago um, I have been on the board but I haven't ridden it that much um, but yeah this is this is my board this is my board back here but I haven't I haven't really been on it that much I went on it I've fallen off of it a couple times my skills aren't what they used to be, you know what I'm saying? So, so no, I'm not like a, I'm not a big, I'm not a skater. I'm not like a big skater or whatever. But I'm good, Allie. I'm good, I'm good. So yeah, so I'm just, you know, so I'm, I need to take this tape off of this. Um, I know what trailers we get. Hey, Tavares. Thank you. Oh, nice outfit. This one I'm wearing, I'm just wearing all black today. Normally I have on something like really cool and colorful or um, comic booky or nerdy or whatever. Today I just have on black. <laughs> today I have on black. I threw this on at the last minute. This is the necklace that um, this is the necklace that Critter that Critter sent me. So I threw this on. Threw this on at the last minute. Um, all black is cool. I, I, you know what? I wear a lot of black. I wear a lot of all black. Dallas, what's up? Nice. Uh, what do you have for hobbies? Um, hobbies. I love playing video games. Like I am a, I am a gamer. Um, I agree. Black is the best color. You might think blue, but black is like my favorite. Um, I play video games. I'm also like a singer and a musician. I play piano a little bit. Um, a little bit, a little bit of guitar. I'm awful on the guitar. Um, I walk. I go outside. You know, I look at stuff. I people watch. I live in New York. Um, so yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing much is up. I'm really excited about Comic Con. I'm like, so I was telling people like that we're here like right in the beginning. I'm cosplaying for Comic Con on Friday. I'm going Thursday and Friday. Um, Thursday I'm just going as myself. Friday I'm going um, hopefully as Wonder Woman. Hopefully we'll see. You've been super busy, but it's all. Oh, oh, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, Dallas. You can't wait to get my take on black is better than blue. I think so too, SBO. I mean, I, I love black. Like I wear a lot of black, um, like in my you know regular daily life. I'm so hyped about Comic Con. Like I, I'm so so hyped. You play guitar and piano. Oh, cool, Allie. Very, very cool. Very cool. I, um, yeah, I started off as a classical pianist. Started off as a classical pianist. That's where I got my, um, start kind of in music. And, um, so I used to compete and stuff. Like when I was a kid, I used to compete in like classical recitals and everything. A lot of people don't know that about me. Um, Star Trek Discovery, yes. 
Okay, yes, Dallas. We will we will definitely have to discuss that because I've watched three episodes so far. I watched the third episode yesterday. Um, Sasha, I'm from New York. I live in New York. I'm originally from Virginia, but I'm from New I live in New York. I've been in New York now for for many, many years. So I'm in New York, in Brooklyn specifically. Hey Rock Metal. What's up? Hey Fred Miller. Well, welcome, first timer. Oh, I have this stupid <laughs> This is my mosquito coil. You know those mosquito um it smells like citronella because I was outside spray painting my stuff and mosquitoes love me. Like if a mosquito, if I'm anywhere in a mosquito's vicinity and they've gotten in the house, they will bite me like 20 times before I even know that they're there. Um, yes, I've been watching Star Trek Discovery. Okay, I will say this about it. I will say this. I'm enjoying it. I'm definitely enjoying it. It doesn't feel so Star Trek-y to me though. I mean, I guess it's giving, you know, J.J. Abrams Star Trek vibes, which in that case, it works. Yes, she's definitely Sasha from The Walking Dead for me as well, Dallas. Um, but yeah, like, it doesn't feel that Star Trek-y and, and her character's motivations, Michael Burnham, the character that um, she plays, um, the motivations of her character, I'm not really buying it. I'm not buying it. seems very forced. Like the plot lines, like the the basis of the whole show, the way that everything started, the conflict with the Klingons, the basis of that just is like, it's so hacky to me. It's such a hacky writing job for me. So I'm a little disappointed in that, you know, the fact that she was raised on Vulcan, I feel like she should be a little more in control of her emotions than she is. And she's like all over the place, literally all over the place. Um, you just learned something new. You learned piano first at school, then you went to guitar. Oh, okay. Um, hey, Vaughn, what's up? Okay. And that's another thing. That's another thing. Jose, come on, man. Like, you can't come in here with that. You can't come in here with that. So if you can't say anything nice, then I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta let you go if you're gonna come in here calling me names right off the bat. Come on, dude. Um, she's half human. No, she is fully human. She's fully human. She's not even Vulcan. She was raised by Spock's parents. She was raised by Spock's parents, but she's not, she's human. She's fully human. She's not Vulcan at all. Hey, Kev. What's up? What's up? No, it's not a it's not a spoiler alert. It's definitely not a spoiler alert. You learn all of this stuff in the in the trailer. So I'm not I'm not giving any spoilers. You learn all of this stuff like in the trailer. Um and female, lol, not Spock. What <laughs> No, she's fully human, but I'm just saying, I feel like because we know that she was raised, you know, on Vulcan, I feel that she should be a little more, there should be a little more conflict within herself, like her inner conflict should be a little different as far as her emotions go, to me, that's all I'm saying. What's up, Kev? How are you? How are you? Um, thank you, Jose. Um... But yeah, so 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 the thing with Star Trek Discovery is that it's only available on CBS All Access, which is CBS trying to throw their hat in the ring with all of the paid subscriptions services that you can get, like HBO Go, HBO Now, um, Netflix, Amazon Prime, like, you know, but and they're releasing the episodes like regular TV. And I think that's another thing that's um, a strike against it. Um, okay, I see you're definitely not playing, fi no, I don't play FIFA. She snapped, I mean, she snapped, but, but before that, but the motivation, without getting spoilerish, the motivation of her even being in that conflict to begin with, for me, I have a problem with. For me, I have a problem with the fact that she even, I'm not going to spoil anything of it. No, no, no. I did not say too much. No, I didn't. I definitely did not say, I did definitely did not say too much. Um, I'm just saying that the motivation that you learn, like the for very first episode, the motivation is a little, is a little messed up for me. It's definitely worth watching. Um, is it worth paying for a monthly subscription for CBS All Access just to be able to watch this show? I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it is or not. Um, yeah, but if you can find the episodes, I would definitely say um, to watch it. It's good. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. But I do wish it was on TV, and I think that it's going to miss out on a big market of people who would give the show a chance because it's not on TV. So, yeah. Oh, and definitely R.I.P. Tom, Tom Petty, for sure. For sure. Well, I'm free, free falling. Well, I'm free, free falling. Hey, Kovom, what's up? How are you? Yeah, it did air on CBS. It did air on it did air on CBS, but it only aired on CBS the first two episodes. If you want to see anything after those first two episodes, if you're in Canada, you can see it on Netflix. If you're out of the country, you can see it somewhere else. But in the United States, you can only see it on CBS All Access. So, yeah. Your pants are shinier than mine. No. Hey, Park Socks, what's up? They are not shinier than mine, are they? I like these pants because they look like they're leather, but they're not. They look like they're leather, but they're not. Ooh, fish oil. You cannot watch it. It's not on TV. That's what I'm saying. It's not on TV. They really messed up with that. Because people would watch it if it was on TV. The fact that they want you to pay like 10 bucks a month or whatever to watch CBS All Access, and you can't even get all the episodes. It's not like, you know, like with Netflix, normally you have all, all episodes, like of a whole season, they're just there. It's not like that. They're releasing it like a regular episodic, so it's coming on like every Sunday at a certain time. They're kind of trying to do what Game of Thrones does with HBO. People will pay the money for HBO to watch Game of Thrones. I don't know that they're going to pay the money to um, watch this and that's unfortunate that's unfortunate exactly so see like people who would watch it people who would be into it like you you might not watch it you might not give it a chance because you don't have access to it which really sucks I mean you know you might be able to find it on some file sharing site or something I didn't say that but you know it's possible you may be able to find it out there you know but yeah, they're going to try and hook you with two episodes. It's not. It's not on TV. It's not. They're doing it as the subscription-based service, and I think that's a huge mistake. I think it's a huge mistake. Yeah, it's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. It's only available on CBS All Access. They give you like a free um, they give you like a free week of CBS All Access. That's it. But you don't get all the shows. It's still each each epi I mean each uh, week week to week they're airing releasing a new episode and i think that's a huge mistake you're european we pirate everything everything i'm not i'm not for pirating there are certain um things if you can't get it then i think it's all right maybe <laughs> i'm not i'm not advocating pirating stuff um you know like having work done some work in tv and stuff it's like you produce stuff, there are a lot of people that it takes to produce these shows and stuff, and, and if people aren't paying for it, then you're not going to continue to get good stuff. But I think you can find the Star Trek series out there somewhere. They used to show Star Trek to oh Star Trek on BBC Two in the UK. Yeah, I mean, but this episode, but this specific show, they're not showing it on TV. It's only available via streaming. That's it. So I, like I said, I think that's a mistake. And the audience for Star Trek, they're all mostly, you know, tech savvy people who can like find the episodes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, Eric, what's up? I, right, I agree, SBO. I don't think there's enough clout for the show. At this point, like, we haven't had a Star Trek TV show in, God, uh, like, 15 years, I think? 18 years? We haven't had a Star Trek TV show. So, um, hey, Faisal, what's up? What's going on? Yeah, I grew up on Star Trek too, and that's why for me it's important for me to watch it, and I think you should watch it however you can. Um, I'm so hyped, James. I'm so hyped for Comic Con. Oh my God! Hey, Smelski. Yeah, Voyager. Voyager was the last TV show we got. 
that was the last TV show we got was Star Trek Voyager. It was like Voyager, Deep Space Nine. Those were the two shows. Um, so that was that was the last thing. That was the last thing we got. But now, you know, it's the new one is Star Trek Discovery. Star Trek Discovery. And it's good so far. I've seen the first three episodes and I'm in it. I did have to forgive some things plot wise, though. Oh, Enterprise, that's right. I forgot about Enterprise. I had problems with Enterprise. So I, I completely forgot about Enterprise. So you're right. You're right. Like, how are you just going to drop a show out of nowhere and then put it behind a paywall? Like, it's like, got game. Right, right. But I think it's like the greediness of these networks, and they see that it works for some things. But you can't, like, if everybody makes a pay channel, um, you can't find it on TV anymore, and you're no pirate. Yeah, it's not on, Discovery is not on TV. It's not on TV at all. Yeah, in, Enterprise was the last one. Enterprise was the last uh, show that aired on TV. That last Star Trek one. Anyway. Hey, Frankie. You think we all did? Yeah, I had some problems with Enterprise, unfortunately. Yeah, I would say watch it how you can. It's definitely worth watching. It's a new Star Trek show. It's unfortunate that it's not on TV. I will say that. It's very unfortunate that it's not on TV. They don't have the clout to make people pay for CBS All Access. I don't, I don't think so. Anyway, so it's unfortunate, but, you know, we'll see what happens with it. We'll see what happens with it. There are some good performances and everything. Hey, Forever Insomniac. What's going on? What's going on? The lovely blue goddess. I don't know. I'm not feeling very goddessy today, but thanks, Kev. I appreciate it. Truth moment. I did not watch Enterprise. Shame on me. You know, my problem with Enterprise started with the theme song. They messed up. They messed up the theme song. They messed up the theme song, and that set the tone for the whole um, series. Let me put on my hook hand so I can find this show. <laughs> let me know, SBO. Let me know if you watch it, and let me know what you think of it. You're more of a Star Wars guy. Hey, Jonathan. I am enjoying my week. I am. I personally feel that Star Trek and Star Wars can coexist. It doesn't have to be one or the other. Like... You know, it doesn't have to be one or the other. I am a huge Star Wars fan. I am a huge Star Trek fan. You know, it's space. It's space. It's like, you know, it's the future. So I, I love them both. I love them both. And I have room in my heart for both of them. But yes, I'm so excited about Comic-Con. Mr. Cruz, what's going on? What's up? I've been working on this cosplay. I don't I don't cosplay. Those of you who do not know. Are DZ in the house? Hola, como esta? Um, I don't cosplay. For those of you who know me, I do not cosplay. I have, you know, I do stuff at Halloween because it's Halloween. You know, it's Halloween. So I do stuff at Halloween. But um, like as far as people who like really cosplay, like that's not me ever. That's not me. Hey, Charlie. Well, hello there. Hey, Charlie, what's up? <laughs> All right, SVO. Let me know. Let me know if you watch it. Let me know if you like, if you watch it and what you think about it. There are three episodes out there, so you have three episodes to look for. Um, you mean the combo of Sasha with Crouching Tiger was... I agree. I agree. It really was. I agree, Dallas. Hey, Real. What's going on? Well, if you like the new Star Trek movies, then you would like this, because this is more like a take on the J.J. Abrams Star Trek, the new TV show. It's it's more along those lines. Um, for, like, real, like, Star Trek feels, I'm loving Orville. I'm loving Orville. Like, that show is on TV. That's the new Seth MacFarlane TV show, and it's, it's not quite a parody. Hey, Scoops, what's up? What's up? It's not quite a parody. It's like, um, it's not a parody. It's like a love letter to Star Trek, like Seth MacFarlane's love letter to Star Trek, but it's also funny. Um, but it doesn't make a mockery of Star Trek. I cosplay. That involves whips and chains or cuffs. <laughs> that's, not, that's not what that's called, RDZ. That's not what that's called. That's something else. <laughs> that's something else. 
that's something else. <clears throat> um, yes, Orville is awesome. Orville is awesome. It's awesome. I, like that. That's a show that I look forward to every week, and it comes on TV. So, um, so I've been watching Orville. I really like that. Really like it a lot. Really like it. You know what? No, I don't. I never really got into Rick and Morty. I've seen like a couple, a couple episodes of it, but I've never really gotten into it. No, it's not my thing so much. It's not my thing. I mean, I guess I, I like the kind of humor that it is is kind of my thing. So maybe I just need to give it more of a chance. I don't know. Yes, Orville is awesome. Orville is awesome. I'm really uh, enjoying it. It's hard to take McFarlane seriously. I know what you're saying, Tavares, but um, he's doing a great job with Orville. And it's not meant to be so serious. It's not meant to be so serious, but it's very entertaining. I, I highly recommend Orville. Yeah, Orville, real. Um, it's definitely worth checking out, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah. But guys, I'm really excited. Oh, you haven't watched Orville? You have to watch Orville. If you're a Star Trek fan, you will appreciate it. You will appreciate it. At first, I was a little, like, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to watch this. I don't want somebody making a mockery of Star Trek because I'm a huge star. I'm a, I'm a Trekkie. Like I'm straight up. I'm a Trekkie. And I didn't want somebody like making a mockery of it. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know if I can co-sign this because I thought that he was going to really be, um, I thought it was going to be such a parody of Star Trek, but it turns out it's not. Turns out it's not. Um, Orville Redenbacher, <laughs> no. The ship's name is is the Orville. It's the TV show, the new Seth MacFarlane show that's like Star Trek. It's like Star Trek, but it's um it's a comedy kind of. You were on Orville before Star Trek. It's awesome sauce. Yeah, me too. It has a gen yes, a genuine. That's very well said, Dallas. A genuine Star Trek feel, but with more humor. Yeah. It's awesome. It's it's awesome. And and you know, and it's like you can tell that Seth MacFarlane is a Trekkie. Like we knew that already from like the Family Guy and the episodes, you know, that he's done. You know, he redid all of Star Wars, you know, so we know that he's like a huge like sci fi nerd guy and stuff, you know. Um and then he loves Star Trek and then he loves Star Wars. But it he he did a really great job with the Orville and I cannot recommend it enough. If you're a Star Trek fan, you should definitely check out the Orville. Uh, popcorn. Now you want some popcorn. What is it about popcorn? I miss the popcorn. Hey Chachi. Oh, thank you so much Chachi. Thank you, thank you. I know, I'm wearing black today. What's up Justin? <laughs> hey Rockman Rock, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah, I'm wearing black today. I'm wearing black today. I'm wearing black because today is all about my cosplay. It's all about my cosplay today. So I'm doing, um, you're a Destiny. I know, I'm, I'm streaming early today, Justin, so I can play some Destiny. I'm like itching to play some more. Um, oh, he said Orville Redenbacher, right, popcorn. Yeah, man, before your time. It was not before your time. Um, but yeah, so okay, so I'm going to Comic-Con, right? I'm going to Comic-Con this week, so I'm really excited. Um, I'm going Thursday, but I'm not dressing up. I'm not dressing up on Thursday. Like Thursday, I'm just going to be myself. Friday, I'm going to be, hopefully, if I can get this thing right, this is a clue. This is my cape. This is my cape. This is my, oh! This is my, <laughs> hold on. This is my cape, which I just, like, damn. All right, hold on. This is, it, I'm not going as Batman. I'm not going as Batman. I'm going as Wonder Woman. And this is my cape. So I had this hanging up, assless chaps. <laughs> Like I said, what you do in the privacy of your own home, what you do in the privacy of your own home is your business. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I've been working on my cosplay, and 
All right, so I, I showed you guys, I showed you guys some of this last week. <laughs> this man's a freak. I think so. I think so, SBO. I definitely think so. Uh, New York. This is New York Comic Con. There have been a lot of cons lately, um, a lot of Comic Cons, like, around. Um, but this one, the one I'm going to is New York Comic Con, and it's Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday. And, um, yeah, so, wait, hold on. Hold on. Yes, Thursday and Friday. It's at the Javits Center. It's at the Javits Center. Um, I don't think there are any more tickets. You might still be able to get tickets for Thursday. I'm not sure. Um, not sure. But <laughs> not sure. But so I've been working on my I've been working on my um, cosplay. So I showed you guys this. This started off. It was brown. This was brown. It was like a copper color. And I bought this a long time ago, but I never wore it. I never did anything with it. But I bought it with making it into a Wonder Woman cosplay um, in mind. So, um, so, so yeah, so I painted this today. I got out my spray paint. It smells really good. Like, don't huff, kids. Don't be a huffer, kids. But it smells really good. Hey, Slashy Eli. Hey, what's up? Um, so yeah, so I have this. And I painted this, so this is my, this is like the base, right? This is like the base of what I'm doing. <laughs> Even though I think, you know what though? I think this kind of, I think this kind of shrunk. I think it's kind of shrunk, but when I put the paint on it, but I'm gonna be wearing this. This will be worn even if I have to like squeeze in, squeeze into it, but it, no, it'll, it'll work. It'll work. I can I can fasten it. I can fasten it. Yes, I play lots of games, Jose. Right now I'm playing Destiny. Um, right now I'm playing Destiny. But yeah, so I have this. Then I made. Yeah, it does. Hey, dry juice. What's up? I made this out of craft foam, and I'm and I had a little mistake with the um, glue. I had some glue issues and. So I'm not really happy with the way that this turned out. You can't really see. Um, I played lots of games. Jose, check, take a look at my um, About Me section. Take a look at my About Me section. And right now, the game that I'm playing the most is Destiny. Um, but if you want to know about other games that I play and do play, then you can check out um, the information in my um, thing. I'm not going to go over my, my games right now because I'm talking about something else. Um, gonna go do some crimes with Moon come capture me <laughs> they are kind of Catwoman pants the pants I have on they are oh I have the tiara and I already have the tiara and boots SBO like I already have that hey hum I already have the tiara and boots already I already do um, but yeah so I kind of messed up on the glue so if you see there you see that that's all messed up so this is my backup. This is like, all right, so this is for this. This is gonna go here, like that. Bam. That's pretty like badass, right? But I have to attach it. But I'm making a new one because I was not happy with, um, so I'm making a new one. This is what the craft foam looks like. This is how it starts off. And it's flat. Um, it's in the other room it's flat and so I cut out my pattern I cut it out and everything and um, hey mimic the R2D2 dress is your favorite cool I like that too that's one of my favorite dresses as well um, this is my heat gun so that's how you get it to stay in the shape like you heat it up and then you form it the way you want to so I have to form this some more um, so that it fits on my boobs but um, but yeah, so I have to pull out the heat gun and work on this some more to get it right. But it's it should be all glued now. And and this one I didn't mess up the glue. There's a little glue that's sticking out, but it should be okay. Yes. 
yeah, this is this one's good. This one's pretty good, I think. Yeah, well, it's not a blow dryer. It's just it's a heat gun. It's a heat gun. So it gets like really hot, really hot. And uh, yeah, okay. So this one I did better. So I didn't get any. But you know what? I've never done this before. This was YouTube. This was YouTube. No, I don't watch Supergirl. I don't watch Supergirl. I am. I'm putting in work. So look. So see, this one I did better. Like you can see a little glue right there, but I did better on this one. So it, it didn't have all the glue like squishing out on the sides. So I'm going to shape this and this is going to be, I just have to shape it. I have to put the heat on it. Um, to shape it. I'm not gonna like force it right now because I have to put heat on it, but this is gonna be here I'm gonna take it out and spray paint it again and This is my belt that I made. This is also out of craft foam, but this is the belt and so this is gonna go This is gonna go at the bottom. I have to attach this to the bottom of this Right, I mean it's gonna be like here like this it's going to be like that, and so that's that part, and let me show you guys. Last night, I was fucking, oops, I said the F-bomb. I'm not, I'm not supposed to say the F-bomb. <laughs> um, hey, Patrick, I sewed each one of these stars. I sewed these stars on. I'm doing old school. I'm doing the old school Wonder Woman, by the way. I'm doing the old school Wonder Woman. Um, I sewed these stars on. So these stars are like individual, individual stars. They're iron on, but I was afraid to iron these on. And these are kind of small. So I've been trying to stretch them out. They've been like on my chair for most of the day because they're kind of small. I did say the F word, my apologies. Um, but yeah, so these are my these are my these are my my bottoms for my uh, Wonder Woman costume, and then this is my cape because I'm not gonna be ass out at Comic Con. That's too much. That's too much for the people. So, um, so, so <laughs> I need to stop touching this. I need to stop touching this. Oh, and I knocked down my Rubik's cube. So yeah, so that's that's that, and I have the boots already. I look great in bin liners. <laughs> Sub Nala. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how this works, but that's the plan anyway. So hopefully, hopefully I will fit into my costume come Friday, and this is how I'm gonna be at Comic Con, with my cape, of course. With my cape. The cape is long. Let me put my cape on for y'all. I could at least do that since my costume isn't isn't together. You know. I will. I'm gonna take pics and take videos and stuff. I was, you know, thinking about maybe um, trying to um, hey Alex. I was thinking about maybe trying to like stream, but I can't stream from Comic Con because the um because the the service there is awful. Hold on, let me pull my pants up. Hey, from Russia. Hey, Lax. All right. So this is my cape. This is my cape. You see, it's like long, right? Like my cape is long. It is gonna flow on the wind, even if there is no wind. So yeah, this is my cape. And so I'm gonna have these on. Bam, bam, like that. And then I'm gonna have this on. Bam, like that. And then the other things. Um, my tiara. Where's my tiara? My tiara is on my shelf. So, oh, here's my tiara. Here's my tiara. I've worn this before on stream, but this is my tiara. I'll show you guys. This is my tiara. Bam, boom, bam. That's my tiara. Put it back in the box, and I have to go into the closet to grab my boots. Uh oh, to grab my boots. What's up, wormy worm? Wormy worm. Hey, Norbs. What's going on? 
What's up? Oh, let me move this. I'm trying to get into my closet so I can grab my boots for you guys. Oops. I have this, I have this, you can't see this, but I have this bar here that I have my um, green screen on. Uh, oh, here are my boots. Oh, here's one boot. I'll just show you one boot. Some of you have seen me in these before, but these are my boots. These are my boots. I only grabbed one out of the closet, but yeah. I don't have socks on or anything. Bam. So these are my boots. So like I'm, you know, like so like I'm ready to go. I just have to assemble everything and put it all together. My cuffs are in my cuffs are somewhere. My silver cuffs. I have to find them. I think they're in the in the room. Um, they're not white go-go boots. They're my red, red and white go-go boots. Yeah. I'm about to mess around and put the whole thing on. <laughs> I know. I know. I could. I could. But, uh, yeah. So, so this is part of my costume. I'll have to show you guys, like, the full costume, like, once it's, once it's done. Like, I have a bunch of gluing uh, left to do. And I got to get my other boot out of the closet and all of that. But, um... But yeah, oh, and I have to make a new golden lasso because I lost my other one. I can't find it. So let me show you guys what I'm going to do for that. Okay, so I bought this. This is a clothesline. I bought this at like the 99 cent store, the dollar store down the street. My nails are a mess because I've been like dealing with all this stuff. Um, this is clothesline. This is a big ass clothesline. So I bought this and I'm going to take make this my golden lasso. I'm going to spray paint it gold. I'm going to spray paint this gold. So that'll be tomorrow. I'll spray paint this gold tomorrow and let it, you know, let it dry. And this is going to be my golden, my golden lasso. And it's like the right, um, you know, it's like the right material and everything. And I think it'll look really nice um, once it's all gold. Hopefully this will take the paint well, but it's kind of plasticky, so I think it will. But yeah, this is going to be my golden lasso. Boom. Bam. Golden lasso. I can make it as long as I want. So yeah, I look like a big kid. <laughs> I am a big kid, Vaughn. <laughs> I am a big kid. I like, I love my toys. I love playing with stuff. You know, I like dressing up from time to time. You know, depends on the mood and all of that. But like this time of year, like with Comic-Con and Halloween, like Halloween is, um, is like my favorite, like my favorite time of, of year. Um, is it a pain to walk in those? I mean, hours? No, it's fine. You know why? Because it has a, it has a, um, wrap you around that. You'll tell the truth all the time. <laughs> I am, Mimic. I really am. I really am. Hey, Canadian rock star. What's up? What's up? Hey, Twisty the Clown. Thanks. I, I hope that it comes out okay. Like I said, this is my first time cosplaying, so... Um, so I don't, I don't really know. This is like, it's not going to be the best Wonder Woman costume there. It's just going to be my Wonder Woman costume, which makes me happy. You know, I'm sure there are going to be a whole lot of, um, uh, movie Wonder Womans that are going to be there. I'm just like proud of myself that I even got this far. Like, hey, taco lover. Um, thank you, Canadian rock stars. Good to see you too. Hey, big coo. What's up? <laughs> What's up, big coo? Um, but no, Dustin, these are not hard to walk in. Like these have, it's a platform. It's a platform. So technically, you always factor in the top, this part. Because it's a platform boot, you always factor in this. So you subtract that from here. So technically, it's only like, it, the heel is only like that big. So you can walk in these like all day without a problem because the heel technically is not that tall. Um, hey, Richard. What's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, Art in the Dark. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. 
Yeah, so I'm like, you know, I'm old school Wonder Woman. I'm like, I'm not going to play myself and try and be like the new movie Wonder Woman. Like, I'm not going to do that. Like, that's not that's not me. That's not my vibe, you know? Like, I'm like the old school. So that's why I'm going to be old school. And I get this badass cape. Like, I get the cape, the old, like, Linda Carter cape that I bought. And this cape, I, I really thought this cape was going to be, like, not good quality. It's really nice, actually. Um, try to wrap the clothesline around itself after you paint it to make it look thicker. No, but it's as thick as it needs to be. I feel like this is as thick as it needs to be. I hope I do, Mimic. Yeah, it's not like it's a competition. Like, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not a real cosplayer. You know, I'm not trying to enter into any competitions or anything like that. I'm just trying to enjoy myself and have fun and be me and, you know, see some cool people and, and um, you know, take pictures with people if they want it. Or just, I just want to hang out. And I've never dressed up for Comic-Con before, ever. So this is going to be my very first time dressing up for Comic-Con. Hey, Mr. Nitro. And so I'm really, I'm really excited about it because I, I love the costumes. I love seeing, you know, the people who dress up and everything. So, um, so this is my, this is my favorite, I mean, this is my first time even doing this and the fact that I'm doing Wonder Woman is kind of crazy because I've waited so long to do Wonder Woman. Um, hot pants need shine though. What? Need shine? What do you mean need shine? These? What do you mean they need shine? They don't need shine. What do you mean they need shine? Oh, you mean like so people can see them? I will wear, like, once I get my costume together, I will wear it on stream one day for you guys. I'll wear it. Maybe the, ne maybe the next week after Comic-Con. I'll probably end up doing Wonder Woman again for Halloween just because, you know, I'm going to do a lot of different costumes for Halloween. I'm good, Richard. How are you? No. Well, this is all I could get. This is all I could get. So they're not going to be shiny blue. They're going to be this. They're going to be this. I looked at some shiny blue ones. Um, but they didn't look good. They weren't like a good shiny, like the sat, like the satin. I know what you mean, like the satin, like this. Um, the ones I saw didn't look good, so that's why I chose these. These are cheerleader. These are cheerleader briefs. These are cheerleader. These are cheerleader briefs. So, um, oh, Two Face, that's a good one. Yeah, the Linda Carter ones, like hers were like satin. I don't, I don't have that. Maybe like maybe one day I'll like upgrade or something. Um, you know, as it is, the whole thing is not, like, this should be shiny too, but it's not really shiny. This is more like leather look, and hers wasn't leather look. Hers was, uh, Linda Carter's was like satin, but this is more like a fake leather vibe. Yeah, I couldn't get that. I couldn't get, thank you, Richard. I couldn't get any satiny ones. So these are, these are the right color, the color that I wanted, and, um, I mean, they have like a slight shine to them. Very slight, but not really. But these are cheerleader briefs. I haven't had these on since high school. I haven't had anything like this on since high school. So, um, I'm not going to throw the costume away. Why would I throw the costume away? No, I'm keeping my costume. I'm making it. I'm keeping it. I'm, I'm keeping it. Satin, stop it, Lola. No, I can't have any satin panties. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having any satin panties on at the, at the thing. I hope so. We'll see. We'll see. These are kind of small, though. Y'all have seen my ass, and I don't know if my ass is, I mean, I already put these on once, and thankfully they have a lot of stretch in them, but yeah, that's a little, um, a little tighter than I thought they were going to be when I ordered when I ordered these, but I didn't have time to order any new ones, so I'm going to make it work, whatever it is, <laughs> whatever it is. Thankfully, I have the cape, so the cape will not be coming off. Yeah, is the costume on? <laughs> no, Patrick. No, Patrick. It is not. Man, this cape is hot though. This cape is hot. I'm too black for these white girl panties. <laughs> right. I realized that, Espia, when I tried them on. <laughs> I realized that when I tried them on. But they, they do fit. They do fit. Thankfully, they're stretchy. But, um, but yeah. Um, yeah. 
Have I done any face paints? Yeah, I have. In the past, I have done some. Um, like last year, I was a demon. I was a demon last year. And I, um, meanwhile, I had the <laughs> thirsty. I was a demon last year. I painted my whole body red. I painted my, my whole entire body was painted red. And, um, and I had like, um, I'll have, to, I'll have to find some pictures of me from last year. I was I was really scary looking. I might do something like that again um, this year. But depending on how I feel, I might even do like a cos like a, a costume. A few normally I'll have like two different Halloween costumes. I might do more than that this year because I know there's definitely one thing I want to do for you guys for um, Halloween. So, I'm good, Mr. Boom. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. You like my cape. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've done a few things. I've done a few things. Flash! What's up? What's going on? Cocaina. Oh, my goodness. You're finally here. You you were, I was expected you to be here sooner, Flash, as the Flash and all. Good thing for you, you're on a diet. No, you're not late. You're right on time, Flash. I, I'm early, actually. I'm early. I, I came on early today because I wanted to hang out for a bit. And then I also wanted to... Um, I'm going to stream some gameplay after this because I want to play Destiny after I'm after I'm done here. Um, I started on the Nightfall, on night, on the Nightfall um, strike. Man. It is so much fun. So much fun. Stockings guard. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Did I miss did I miss something? Did I miss something, Justin? Oh, oh, as far as my, my Halloween costume. I don't know. I might I might do something like that. I have a few I have a few Halloween costume things that I wanna do. So, um, you know, some of them will be more dressed than others. So I might, you know, I might, I might do a little something, something. I might cosplay. I might do a costume a day for Halloween. I might. We'll see. Oh, thank you. You like my my backpack? This was a present. This was a this was a gift from my bestie. Um. This proves you don't need alcohol to have fun. You none for three months. Oh, for three months. Wow, that's great, Taco. But I do have wine in my glass, though. I do have wine in my glass. I do have a nice Cabernet Sauvignon in my glass tonight. Hey, Michael. What's going on? Arcadia! Thank you. I, You know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I, I brought my heat gun out because I was going to actually try and shape this while I'm here. Let me plug this thing in so I can do this. Um, Mr. Boom, what's up? What's up? Chad, that is actually on my list. Gamora is actually on my list. That might be my, um, actual on Halloween costume, costume, like my main costume. You do? Thank you. I've had this on stream before. I guess nobody ever really paid attention to it. Um, yeah, it's like, it's kind of small, but, um... I took this with me. I have my sunblock in here. <laughs> what else do I have in here? I have some gum. Some contact lens solution. That's it. That's all I have in here. Yes, I have my heat gun. Yeah, I have my heat gun. I have my heat gun. Yeah, I love wine. I love wine. I do have the silver bra bracelets. I have to find them. I think they're, um, I've worn them before on, on stream, but I do need to find them. Hold on. I have to find them later. I'm not, I'm not sure where I put them. I put them somewhere, and I don't know where they are. I have to find them. So, yeah. <laughs> Do 
Do I go to Comic-Con events? Hey, Julian. Then find a buff dude to be Drax. I don't know that I'm going to have a Drax with me, but... Oh, oh, here they are. Here's one. And see, I, I just put stuff like... In, oh, here it is. Here's the other one. Bam. These are my... These are my bracelets. These are my bracelets. Boom, boom. So yes, yeah, so I have the I have the bracelets, the silver bracelets. Cortez, what's up? What's up? Hey, Wilbert. Yeah, these are my my silver bracelets. So I do have them. I do have the silver bracelets. So yeah, so I'm all set. I'm all set. I knew I knew they were somewhere. I just I didn't know where I put them. So I left them on my shelf, which is really where they should be with the rest of my Wonder Woman accoutrement. Uh, but yeah, aren't these aren't these really cool? Aren't these really cool? Um, yeah, I've had these for years. I've had these for years. I've never cosplayed as Wonder Woman, but I have worn the bracelets like just out. I've just worn just the bracelets with like regular clothes. <laughs> I've worn these, so so yeah, I'm good, Ben. How are you, Dean? What's going on? Dean, I'm working on my Wonder Woman costume. East London guy. What's going on? Yeah, I'm working on my um I'm working on my Wonder Woman costume, Dean. So once I I'll take some pictures and stuff in it. I'll i I'll send you um I'll send you something. If I can get it right. If it's crazy, I'm gonna be in comic at Comic Con with a with a t shirt on like I am every year. But I hope that I hope that my costume turns out okay because I've been working really hard on it, so I'll be disappointed and very upset if my costume doesn't work. So, you can, you all right, Justin? You okay, Justin? <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I've been working on it really hard. I was just showing some of the pieces that I have. I'm getting ready to uh, shape this. This is my second attempt at my breastplate. Um, where are you going, Justin? Where are you going? Why are you leaving? You don't have to leave. <laughs> You're funny. September birthstone. Is your birthday? In, was your birthday in September, Michael? Obviously, I missed it. Hello, Alec. You and your son will be Iron Man. And Hulkbuster. Oh, really? That's what you're doing for Halloween or for uh, Comic Con? What's up, Mr. Cruz? I'm glad. I, I'm glad you like my costume. I just hope that it works. You know, I just hope that it works. So we'll see. Mr. B, what's going on? I gotta move a little closer, y'all, for my heat gun to work. Oh, for Halloween. I love that. Iron Man and Hulkbuster? You must be really good at cosplay then, because that's a, those are two tough uh, costumes to pull off. Hulkbuster? That's like, that's, that's pretty intense. That's pretty intense. All right, so this heats it up for September 19th. I hope so, Arcadia, I hope so. I hope so. Um, whoosh. <laughs> Justin, you are hilarious. So this is me with my heat gun. I'm heating this up. This gets really hot, by the way. I don't know. I haven't even I haven't even looked at the system software update. It it I had some problems like getting online. Um, I just did the update like right before I came on so all right so then I take this like see now it's like malleable like see how now it's like malleable and now I do like Batman I do like Batman so now you just put it up here and then you like shape it to like what you're trying to do you know what I mean even though I, I really should be doing this on the thing instead of just on my boob but yeah, but this is how this works. This is how this works. And you just like, you know, continue to shape it. And then once it cools, it's in the shape that you put it in. 
Um, hey, Nick, I'm good. I'm good. I didn't look at anything. I just I did the software update just so I could get online. So that's a little that's a little better. But I need to put more heat on this. I think. Um, yeah, I didn't look at any of the features. Like I did the update just so I could get online. So I didn't do anything. This is no longer a PG-13 street. Yes, it scoops. Yes, it is. I'm trying to shape my thing. I guess I should maybe put this on. If I put this on, that'll be, maybe that'll be better. And it'll be more PG-13. If I put this on. If it's plastic, try hot, hot water. No, this is craft foam. I don't want to put this in. I have my, um, I have my heat gun. I have my heat gun. So, you know. But I gotta get this. I gotta get this corset on first, and then um, nothing interesting on update. Yeah. See, the thing is that this is like this definitely shrunk, though, guys. This definitely shrunk by me painting it. So I'm gonna have to stretch this back out before I can even before I can even do this. But this is good enough for now. I'm trying to put this on like sitting down. So okay. And I may have to adapt the back of this if it really um, struck. I'm not, <laughs> Scoops, I am not. Scoops, this is my this is my Comic Con costume. This is my co Comic Con costume. Oh, but yes, definitely watch Orville. Definitely watch Orville. Definitely watch Orville. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix. I I didn't expect this to shrink though, guys. I didn't expect this to shrink, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get some assistance to get into this thing. I need to stretch this out. I can stretch it out. I'm gonna use my heat gun on this so I can stretch it out back into the shape that it was when it fit. Because I'm not big. It's just that this is not it shrunk with the paint that I put on it. So I was just standing up, Julio. Okay. So so yeah, so see, like this goes on here, like this, but I have to shape it, and it, and I'm gonna paint it gold. I have to shape it so that it'll fit right. But yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna work. This new one is gonna work, I think. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. I just need to shape it some more. Sew cloth on back with zipper. You know what? I may have to do that, Dean. But I don't sew. I don't sew. That's the thing. I don't sew. No, I can't keep it black. No, I'm Wonder Woman. I cannot keep it black. This is the first one that I did that goes on there. And I shaped it and everything so it fits like perfectly. But it's messed up in the front. So I redid it, redid it and I have to shape this one so that it fits because it kind of sticks off. You know what I mean? So I have to shape this one so that it fits right. So that's what I was doing with the heat gun. But now I'm going to have to shape this whole thing. No, it has to be, it can't be black. But now that I know how to do armor, like that's the thing. Like now that I know how to do armor, um, I can do other armor now. Like I know how it works. I know how to do it now. So if there's other armor that I'm thinking about doing, like I know how to do it now. So yeah, where's my gun? Ugh. Cortez gets no honey buns until he plays Red Dead Redemption. I can't do Batman. I can't do Batman. I can make some batarangs out of this, though. I could definitely make some batarangs. Just go nude. I gotta, um... I have to do some sit-ups or something for that, Bonnie. I gotta do sit-ups for that. Orville is live action. Orville is definitely live action. It's a it's a good show. It's a good show. It's a good show. Get to work then. I'm trying to get to work. I'm trying to shape this thing so that it'll man. I gotta have this on right. This is not on right. 20 sit-ups. No, I'm not doing any sit-ups right now. I'm not doing any sit-ups right now. But yeah, yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. 
that's good enough for now. I think I will I will do the rest of this off camera, I think. I'll probably shape the rest of this off camera. Hey, New King, thank you. Thank you. Hey, look, hey Blunt Mover. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. We've been we've been we've been pretty good in here today. We've been pretty good. I'm doing my um, Comic Con costume, Blunt Mover. I'm doing my Comic Con costume, I'm trying to shape this. And um, yeah, I don't go to the gym. I I need to go to the gym. I do not. I do not. I rely on genetics, which I really they're they're gonna fail me one day. Yeah, see that's better already. Like the shape of it is better. Um, the shape of it is better already than what it started off as. And then I will attach. Well, I'm gonna paint it gold. I'll paint it gold tomorrow, and um, and I'll attach it to this, and then I'll be then I'll be good to go. I think for my for this piece anyway. I was gonna attach the belt to the bottom, but now that I'm sitting down in this, I'm not sure if I should attach it or not. So I have to figure that out. I have to figure all of that stuff out tomorrow. Genetics fail us all. Fact of life. Yeah. So I'm still holding on though. I'm still hanging on, SBO. I'm still hanging on. Yeah, this is craft foam. It looks uncomfortable. It's not. What what part of it looks this part looks uncomfortable? This part looks uncomfortable? Yeah, I have some people going with me to Comic Con. I'm not going by myself. I'm not going by myself, but I have to stretch this out. I'm gonna show you um, the craft foam. Give me, uh, give me one second. I'm gonna show you the craft foam. I'll be right back. So I ordered this, right, off of Comic-Con is this week. It's this week. It's I'm going Thursday and Friday. It's, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this week. This is what I bought. It's um it's craft foam. I bought it. It came with like 10 sheets. It wasn't expensive, but this is what it is. And I didn't know what I was doing. I looked at something on Instagram. I have some glue. I have um, some E6000 glue, which is what I use to glue the pieces together. I had to, um, maybe the spray paint reshapes the material. I think what I'm going to do, Arcadia, is I think I'm just going to use my heat gun, like lightly. I'm going to use my heat gun and then I'm going to stretch this back out because what happened is the material shrunk. Um, no, I'm not going to have a Thursday show this week because I'm going to be at, on at Comic-Con. So, um, you know, it would be nice to be able to stream from Comic-Con, but I can't because the service there is always terrible. Like everybody's on their phones sucking up bandwidth and it's literally impossible. I can barely post to Instagram when I'm inside Comic-Con. So um, I sure as hell hope not. If it does, then I'm screwed and I'm going to be at Comic-Con on a... I'll, I will test it out like on a on a small area. I hope it doesn't mess up with the paint. I don't think so. No, I have some, the glue that I have um, is good. I just watched, the, Cortez, I'm not talking, we're not, I'm not discussing Red Dead Redemption with you. We've already been through this. I'm not discussing, discussing um, uh, Red Dead Redemption with you until you play the first one. <laughs> Alright, Justin. I'm gonna take pictures. I'm gonna take pictures. I'm gonna um get some footage and stuff while I'm there and I'll post some um I'll post videos. You know, I mostly post on Instagram for the most part, but I'll I'll do a video, a Comic Con video, um, on my YouTube channel. Yes, the paint will warp foam. But this isn't foam though. This isn't foam. This is just a regular uh corset that I have. You mean for the model foam if the paint is solvent based? This is the paint that I have. The paint that I used for this is like a paint. Um, 
where is it? It's outside. Um, it's a paint that you use like for upholstery. Like if you wanted to change the color of your uh, car seats, like that's what they advertise it for. So it's like malleable, it'll like stretch and move and not crack and all of that. So like, you know, I can st stretch it and everything and it's fine. You just wanted to put it out there. Mm -hmm. Hey Zen. Oh, you're talking about the breastplate. This. Well, I'm not doing it until after. I'm going to paint it first. I mean, I'm, I'm going to paint it after I've molded it. I'm going to paint it after I, after I molded it. I'm going to paint it. So, hey, Marcos. Your phone died. Oh, okay. Yes, absolutely. Fashionably late. Absolutely blunt mover. Um, of course I'm rocking the blue hair. Of course. Of course. Yes, of course. Um, what size is the cup? Bonnie. <laughs> um, I, I think that if I really wanted to, I think I could put the, um, I could put heat on this. I'm not going to because this one is messed up, but I could put heat on this and it'd be fine. I don't know, Zen. Hey, Amando. Oh, you posted your Comic-Con vid on YouTube? I'll, I'll take a look at it, Mr. B. Um, Bezos. Hey, Amando. I don't know, Zen. I, you know what? I, we need to, we need, we definitely need to. I, I owe so many people games. I owe so many people games. Um, did I get the Battlefront Star Wars beta? No, I haven't. I haven't. Is it out? Like I'm so, I'm, I'm very behind right now. Like all, I've, I've only had like Destiny on the brain, and I haven't even been able to play that as much as I want to. Hey, Bulldog, what's up? Richard, thank you, Marcos. What's up? How are you? How are you? Yeah, I'm not going to put any paint on anything like after I've painted it, except for this. I mean, put any heat on it. I'm going to put some heat on this because I have to stretch this back out. I have to stretch, stretch this back out. I bought this a while ago. It's a small. Like, this is a small. Normally, I wear a small, but I don't wear smaller than a small. And I think that this shrunk. I know I need to reserve the game. I don't know why I haven't yet. I will. I will reserve it because I'm I'm definitely buying um, Star Wars Battlefront. So I need to do that. So I need to do that. Um, I do not. I don't. You know what? I'm not. I'm not discussing the Las Vegas um, massacre. Um, yeah, I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not talking about that. Uh, you're going to hold off on Battlefront 2. I'm not. I'm, I want to be playing Battlefront 2 day one. So I'm definitely not holding off on that. Should have gotten a medium. I know. I had this forever, though. I had this. I've, I've had this um, forever because I was holding on to it because I wanted to do this. I wanted to make this the basis for my Wonder Woman costume. But I didn't realize when I painted it when I spray painted it, that it was going to shrink the fabric. So now I have a different issue. Um, yeah, I already said, uh, rest in peace, Tom Petty, for sure. Hey, Johnny. Bonnie, you asked too many questions, girl. You asked too many questions, if you are a girl. Okay, I will. It starts tomorrow, but I don't even know if I'm going to have time to play it. That's the thing, like... I'm going to Comic-Con Thursday and Friday. Like, it's really, um, it's really coming at a bad time for me. But I'm going to, I'm going to reserve it. And then I'm working out of town this weekend, so I'm just kind of like, you know, my life is getting in the way of my, um, video game playing. <laughs> but I will, I will, I will reserve it so I can get my code. Hey, Jay. Hey, Graph. Extra medium. Extra medium. Thanks. Yeah, but I'm going to stretch this back out. I'm going to stretch this back out to its original small, uh, its original small, uh, size. But I'm, I'm excited about it, though. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that it came, that it turned out. But yeah, this is the craft foam. So you take this craft foam. They have larger pieces, I think. This is just what I got, because I didn't really know what I was doing, so I ordered like this and it came in 10 pieces and um, I used uh, like two pieces 
for the breastplate and two pieces for the belt that I did. And you just trace out what you want. You can cut it. It cuts with scissors if you want. Um, you can cut it with scissors. I know my, my mods are the best in the business. The best in the business. Top flight security in here. <laughs> Hey, oh, you still lurking, Don? That's cool. Lurk away, lurk away. I'm glad you're still in the room. What game am I usually playing? Right now, I've been playing Destiny. That's what I've been playing the most right now is Destiny. So that's what I'm usually. Remember comfortable shoes. Mr. B, this is not my first Comic-Con, but I'm not going to be in comfortable shoes because I'm wearing these. But these are comfortable enough, but I'm wearing these. Thursday, I'll wear comfortable shoes. I'll wear like my chucks on Thursday. I think I'm gonna wear my, um, Thursday's gonna be nice weather, so I'll probably wear my Wonder Woman chucks on Thursday. And um, this is what I'm wearing on Friday. So these are, these are my shoes. These are my shoes on Friday. What's up, Jay? Why are you crying? What happened? What happened? Don't do it, SPO. Don't do it. You've been in here this long. I don't do it. I'm saying. I'm saying, don't do it. Hey, Drake. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I hope so, Chad. I hope Wonder Lola is a hit at the con. I hope so. It's okay, Graf. It's all right. You love Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. <laughs> all right, Chad. <laughs> Have fun with GTA. Franchise kid, what's up? Gray. What's going on? Oh, you're in Germany. Uh, good, 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 good talk. Well, it's nighttime there. So what is that? What is night? Good night. Good evening. Good talk. I don't know. Don't do it, SPO. Don't do it. I'm telling you, don't do it. Friday night, you're going to be soaking your feet. I know, you know, I've been, I've walked plenty of Comic Cons before. I will probably take my backpack with me like and put my shoes I made to put my um, my tennis shoes in my bag in case I have to come out of in case I have to come out of the boots but I'm gonna try and keep the boots on if at all possible I can't be like you know I can't be Wonder Woman and not have the boots on that's like whack you know so I can't do that all right Chad have fun playing why you all why you be all fake excited to see my name lol it's not fake excitement. I recognize your name, and when I recognize somebody's name when they come in, I say their name enthusiastically, because I'm glad you came in. Like I'm, you know, I'm happy when I'm happy when people come in. When when people come back, that makes me smile. So, I am not multilingual. I am not multilingual at all. Is it for, yeah, no, I yeah, I don't I don't know that Seymour. Thank you, Drake. Wait, what is I didn't you didn't say it like every other time. Jay <laughs> I'm from um I'm from New York. Well I'm originally from Virginia. Um, but I live in New York. So that's where I'm coming at you from. Brooklyn, New York. Given given knocked. Is it is that guten? Guten guten knocked? Or something. <laughs> Yo, Jay, why you set tripping up? Oh, it's too late. Jay always gives me sad faces. Jay always gives me. Um, I know I keep missing the French classes. I know. I miss. I miss. I've missed all my French lessons. I've missed all my French lessons. I've only learned uh, de ca, de ca. I learned that. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> oh man. Azen. Azen, Azen, Azen. Jay is fine. Jay is fine. Jay is good. <laughs> Jay knows it's all love. The entire semester. I know. I've I've missed I missed the whole semester. You are absolutely right, Blunt. I missed the whole semester. Blunt we were supposed to be giving me French lessons, and it didn't. It didn't work out. I, uh, I, uh, you know, I like you, Jay. You know, I like you. You know, you know, I, 
like saying your name. I can you I little speak in German. I don't I don't speak very much. I don't speak any German. I say um, Guten Tag. That's all I know. Guten Guten Ja Ja. No, not Guten Ja. You're safe if Azen is safe. <laughs> right. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with that. What? Why do you not get any love, Lakers? Why do you not get any love? Yes, you do. Of course you do. You do. I don't really have an affinity as far as basketball teams go, but I recognize your name. Welcome, Lakers. I speak a little Spanish. Hablo español un poquito. Um, pero entiendo um, más. I have to resubmit my division. <laughs> I have. I'm not saying Lakers are bums. I have no. I have absolutely no. Um, I have no opinions when it comes to basketball. I don't really like basketball that much, actually. I don't really like basketball that much, so I don't watch it. But I do recognize your name, Lakers. So welcome back. Welcome back. Lakers sucks. I didn't say that Lakers sucks. I didn't say. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Lakers suck. Good knocked. I don't speak any German at all. At all. Aloha, Tobias. What's going on? Damn, there's some, a lot of Lakers haters in here. That's messed up. That's messed up. I remember, I, I, I do seem to remember, like, Lakers used to be good, right? Are they still good? And it's just that people are, like, hating on the Lakers? Or is it that they're not good? General admission tickets still available. What do you mean general admission uh, tickets still available? I, like, I do not like baseball. Baseball is boring to me. Baseball is like watching paint dry. But I'm a huge NFL fan. So I do watch football. I'm a New York Giants fan, even though we are a travesty this year. I'm in New York, Graf, in New York, the United States. Blue fruit roll house. <laughs> you there to my chambers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Too funny. I really, I just came on here to, um, <laughs> But there are no, the thing is, there are no general admission tickets. There are no general admission tickets to Comic-Con, which is why I didn't go last year. I didn't go to Comic-Con last year because you have to be fan verified. And if you are not fan verified, you are not getting in. Straight up, you're not getting in. Every ticket has to be assigned to a person. And if you're not fan verified, you can't get in. Nobody can buy a ticket for you. Like, um, they won't, they, you cannot, you cannot go to Comic-Con. So, like, they, they did that to, to uh, thwart the uh, scalpers because scalpers were buying up all the tickets. Um, popcorn and now fruit roll -outs. God bless New York. Aw, oh, thank you, Grab. Um. So yeah, so they're not, you know, you have to have your tickets and you have to be fan verified. I think there are still some tickets available on Thursday, so you could get fan verified and still go on Thursday, but um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are sold out. They've been sold out for a while. So I had Friday tickets already that I had bought because I work Saturday. I'm out of town this weekend, so, um, so I can't go on Saturday. Um, Sunday would be pushing it, so I'm going on Friday. But then my cousin bought me a ticket for Thursday, so I'm going with him on Thursday. Um, how the heck you get fan verified? In order to get fan verified for New York Comic Con, you have to log in with a with your email address and your name, and you and you um, submit to be fan verified. That happens before you can even purchase tickets, so you have to be fan verified first. Then, like months later, they open up ticket purchasing. So if you weren't fan verified before in order to purchase tickets, you can't 
you're not eligible to even buy a ticket because each ticket has to be assigned to an individual, to a person who has already been fan verified. Uh, you just finished watching the first episode of Orville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is good. I'm glad you watched it, Scoops. Have a good night. I'm glad you came in. And um, if you can find Star Trek Discovery Scoops, check that out also. Check it out also. Event ticket. Com selling them $75 each. Really? I don't know. I know I couldn't go to Comic-Con last year because of that, because I was not fan verified. I do know that. I do know that. So, um... You know, Oral's first episode was funny. I mean, it's a, it's a comedy. Like, it, it has comedic notes. It's a comedy, but it also has um, heart to it. I don't know. It's it, Orville is hard to explain. I thought it was going to be like a regular, like a Star Trek parody, but it's not a parody. It's like, it's like a love letter to Star Trek with humor. That's the way I would, that's the way I would say that. You love Scotland, Scot Scotland, Scotland. I've never been to Scotland. Hello, Dr. Rock. Hello. I'm sorry, I think I missed some comments. I need to look that up. I mean, that's interesting. If they are allowing people to go to Comic-Con, then that's messed up. Because the rest of us had to, like, wait and be there as soon as they opened up tickets. Like, I was out of town when I was trying to buy Comic-Con tickets. And, um... And I had to like get up early. I was on my laptop, I was on my iPad, I was on my phone trying to get tickets for Friday. And I was able to get them, but it took all of my devices in order to be able to get tickets for Friday. And this was after I had already been fan verified like months prior um, just to be able to buy a ticket because the servers were jammed and they sold out in minutes. So I don't know how they have event tickets available now. That's kind of, that's messed up. If that's, if that's true, that's messed up. So, I don't know, I don't know. If they're scalpers that are selling them, then they're lying. And they won't, you won't be able to get in. If they're scalpers selling them. I'm good, Two Star Dog. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. I was showing people my, com oop, I dropped my thing in the floor. I was showing people what I was wearing to Comic-Con today. Um, this is part of my cosplay, my Wonder Woman cosplay. But I have to stretch out, so that's what I'm going to work on. <laughs> when I get off of here, I'm going to put some heat on this and stretch this bitch back out. Because it shrunk when I when I painted it. So, Rain Phoenix, man of mystery. Hey, T-Funk. If they would, you have on right now, you would have been first. Wait, what? I think they're talking basketball. We were trying to get tickets. Yeah, they've been sold out. They've been sold out. Jay, we're not here talking about the Giants right now. I've already said that they are a travesty this year. So I'm not even talking about the Giants. But I am true blue. I am true blue. And um, yeah, I am true blue. So I, I've been with the Giants from when I was a kid, when we were really good. I've been through the ups and downs. I will continue to be a Giants fan always. So that's all I'm saying. Mm. Jay, Patriots fan. What's up, Luke? What's up, Luke Dog? Lady in red and black. What it, material is this? This is, this is just a regular corset. Like this is a regular, this is fabric. This is like a, this is fabric. But this is from, I showed it on stream before. You can kind of see some of the original, um, like this is the original color. It was like a copper kind of color, but it's fabric. Like this is, you know, it's fabric, but I painted it with this upholstery uh, paint like that you use to like change the seats of your car or whatever so it's you know you can bend it it's not gonna crack or whatever um, Phil Sims Phil Sims was the quarterback for the Giants in the 80s um, so yeah I'm, I'm true blue I'm true blue for real so yeah so but when I painted it and I left it out in the Sun 
it uh, it it shrunk a little bit. So I need to I need to work on work on. Oh no, it's not that bad. I think I just need to be standing up. It's not leather. It's not real leather. You know, it's not real leather. Hey, so calm. What's up? This isn't real leather. This is like fake leather. It's fake leather. I didn't make the corset. I painted it. It came. Let me show you the picture. Hold on. Let me find. I have the picture somewhere. Let me let me find the picture. I painted and let it and left it in the sun. Yeah, I left it in the back. I left it in the back. It was kind of in the sun. I wanted it to dry, but it shrunk. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. So this, this joint looks like it could take a night. Hey, Furry Slippers, I'm great. How are you? It's good to see you. This is what it looked like before. That's what it looked like before. See how it was like that brown color? It did have the gold on it. I painted over that. Okay, Mr. B, I will check my inbox. Um, I painted over that. So it had the gold on the top, but this is what it looked like. So it was like a costume. Um, it was like a costume gladiator, um, like a warrior piece that I bought and I had forever um, but yeah but so that turned into this because I painted over it like I painted over all of that that was gold up there I painted over it and now it shrunk is it stiff no I mean it's stiff but it, it's not like super stiff but you know it's supposed to look like leather it's supposed to look like leather my pants might have shrunk too. My pants were my pants. My pants didn't shrink. My pants are just my pants for today. Good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. But yeah, so it didn't, it's, it's fine. I don't have any socks on. I don't have socks on. Yeah, it's giving pleather vibes. It's giving pleather vibes, but it's it's not though. It really is like a fabric. It's it's hard to it's hard to explain without like touching it, you know. But yeah, this is part of my cosplay for those of you just joining. Um, I was shaping my breastplate. I had to redo the breastplate. This is craft foam. I made this out of craft foam. I um, cut it out. I scored it and everything, and then I used a heat gun to shape it. To shape it. And what happened though? What happened? Have I been working out? I have not been working out. Guys, I've been like eating like I've been eating crazy shit. Like seriously. This is the one that I made at first. See I messed it up. I got glue on it. This is the one I made at first. But I painted it and then I was not happy with the way it turned out. So I'm redoing this piece. But this goes this goes here on top of my thing. But it's going to be this one. I have to shape it, finish shaping this one and paint it. And it's going to go here. I'm not, this is my first time doing this though, guys. This is my very first time doing this. It goes here. So see, that's going to be pretty like badass once I get it, once I get it done. And I made a belt. I'm not eating any donuts. I'm telling you, I've eaten too much crap lately. I've been eating like potato chips. I don't even eat potato chips. I've been eating potato chips. So I have this. So this is going to go here. I made this belt. So this is going to go on the bottom of this corset whenever I get it on. And yeah. So look, that's going to be that's going to be what this is. Once I get it on. And for those of you just joining, uh, do a workout stream, pencil me in for training sessions. <laughs> what? Now you're a physical trainer? I can't. You're going to be a physical trainer and and teach me uh, French at the same time. I sewed each one of these stars on by hand. I sewed these on by hand. I'm not, I'm not, I'm very hacky with all my stuff. This is what the inside looks like. This is my, this is the way I sew. 
<laughs> this is my sewing. <laughs> this is my sewing. But look on the in on the outside, it looks amazing though, right? Even though they look a little small and my ass needs to stretch these out a little bit, but but yeah. So this and then my cape. I have my cape. The cape. I have my cape. I do not have my lasso ready yet. My lasso is not ready. I have to make my lasso. I'm making my lasso tomorrow. I do not work out, guys. I don't work out. I need to. Ooh, you got some uh, new Wonder Woman underwear last week? What? I have quite a bit of Wonder Woman underwear. I have, like, lots of Wonder Woman underwear, actually. Those threads are going to itch. No, the threads will be fine. They'll be fine. This is going to be my lasso. I bought a clothesline. I bought a clothesline from the 99 cent store. And, uh, and yeah, so I, I'm going to um, spray paint this gold tomorrow. This is going to get spray painted gold tomorrow um, for my golden lasso of truth. So, yeah, hey, Paul. I'm Scotland. Hey, welcome back, Paul. I haven't seen you in a minute. I'm going to get a wedgie. I'm not going to get a wedgie. These things are so tight, they're not going to get a wedgie. There's no way there can be... A wedgie. These are kind of these are granny panties. These are granny panties. These are like these are cheerleading briefs is what these are. These are cheerleading briefs. But they look good once you put them under this. Like once you put them under the thing, it's gonna be nice. Look, let me show you. Look, bam. There. See, check that out, guys. See, look, that's legit. That's legit right there. That's legit. And then this is gonna, I'm gonna paint this gold tomorrow and this is gonna be my, um, my, my lasso. So I think, I think it's gonna work out. I'm hopeful. I have to attach all this stuff tomorrow, finish my armor, um, spray it and all of that. I'm going as the OG Wonder Woman. Exactly, exactly. I definitely am. Hey Ninja. I already got my boots. I got my boots, my uh, red like go-go boots. I've worn these before on stream. Some of you may remember these from from prior uh, streams. A star spangled thong. It's not a thong, even though I don't know. My ass is kind of big to be fitting in that. But that's why I have the cape. That's why I have the cape. Am I sure that's all legal? It is. But that's why I have the cape. Check out the stars on the inside, though. What? These stars on the inside are bad ass. So, yeah, there. And my tiara. Let me find my tiara for you guys. And my tiara, which I've had before, it would look too legit if you doubled up. What do you mean if you double up? How am I gonna get an invisible jet? I, oh, my invisible jet is always on standby. Um, what did you ask me? Somebody asked me something about streaming. If she farts, it's over. <laughs> I pledge allegiance. No, I will not. I will not be live streaming Comic Con. Like, that's the thing. I wish that I could. I really do wish that I could live stream Comic Con. the The problem with Comic Con is that the service in there is awful. Like, whenever I go to Comic Con, I can barely even post an Instagram. Uh, post make an Instagram post because all of the lines are jammed like all of the um, all of the lines are jammed like the bandwidth is all eaten up so you know you have a bunch of nerds in one place everybody's trying to post and and post their social media and all that stuff so um, okay Paul good to see you I hope so I hope I will be turning heads I hope so um, but yeah I have to have the cape though yeah I have blue hair yeah of course of course, it's Wonder Lola. Wonder Lola is gonna have the blue hair. Um, I'm not sure what you were talking about doubling it up. The golden lasso doesn't need to be extra thick. It doesn't need to be extra thick. Like this is a good, um, this is a good length. Like th making it thicker than that, like this is like too thick. Like if you look at her lasso, her lasso isn't like a huge rope. It's like, you know, it's it's fairly thin. This is actually thicker than than what it is normally. But it's gonna be like this, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be looped up like this and on my hip. Yeah, I mean I would recommend if you are able 
if you are able to um, go to Comic Con or any any Comic Con wherever you live, I would I would suggest that you go. Like it's a really unique experience. This is going to be my third, I think my fourth time going to Comic Con. So, um, so yeah. So it's going to be it's going to be really really cool. I'm sure I won't be able to get anywhere near like anything Justice League probably, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But this is what it's going to be. Look, I don't need it to be any bigger than this. SPL, check it out. This is going to be my lasso. This is all you need. This is all you need right here. Who do I like between Batman? Always Batman. It's got to be Batman. If I see a bad dude, am I going to take them down? Hell no. Absolutely. <laughs> You'll testify. Will you tell me the truth, real? You'll tell me the truth. <laughs> SBO, it's going to be hot. Trust me. Trust me. Once I paint this, once I paint this gold, this will be gold tomorrow. This will be gold. It's going to be hot. And it's going to look like a proper a proper golden lasso. Once I'm, once I'm done with it, it'll look like a proper golden lasso. I may have to, like, iron it or something so it hangs, so it hangs properly. Yeah. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'm, I'm like, really flying by the seat of my pants on all of this. I've never done any of this before. Um, whenever I've done any sort of cosplay, I've always had help. This time, I did it all on my own, and I'm, like, really proud of myself and, and doing it by myself. So, um, that's what you think. Got nothing on me. <laughs> Don't forget your taser. I'm going to be with people, so... Yeah, I'm going to be with people, so I'll, I'll be all right. I'm not, I'm sure the people I'm going with are not going to let me out of their sight, so I'll be fine. Um, <laughs> big coup. Your suspend is on fire. I know, I had a lasso. I had a lasso for the Wonder Woman event, but I lost it. But it wasn't a proper lasso anyway, but it worked. But I can't find it anywhere. I don't know what I did with it. So, um, so yeah, so I'm going to make a proper lasso. I'm going to make a proper lasso. Um, oh, thank you, Christian. Am I bringing my mods? <laughs> I will have some, some mods in person with me, yes. I will have some mods in person with me. I will have some people with me, so. So, yeah, I'll be fine. Oh, okay, stretch it around, around, around spool and hit it with hairspray. Okay, thank you, Brandon. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe that's how I need to spray paint it. Maybe I should spray paint it like that. Like if I do it around a spool and then spray paint it that way, then it'll be in the shape that it already needs to be in. Maybe I'll try that. I will try that. I will try that. Yeah, I do have a big ass, Azen. I do have a big ass. Um, I'm going to be on my, her own as far as that goes. I have, I have some people lined up, Blunt Mover. I have some, I have some people lined up. Um... Yeah, so I, I will I will be I will be uh, not walking around by myself if if anybody's asking that question. I'm not walking around by myself at Comic Con. Hope I don't find any Suicide Squad there. I don't know. I'm, I'm I imagine there'll be lots of people dressed for Suicide Squad. Um, I got mods in real life. <laughs> Have a good night, Tavares. Thank you for coming and hanging out. <laughs> Oh, Pum Pum is the other side. Oh, oh, well then, I, well then, I, yeah, okay. You tie bad dudes to the pants. <laughs> I'm good, Blunt Mover, but thank you. <laughs> thank you, I have it, I have it, I have it taken care of, but thank you. <laughs> Oh man, hey Galen, what's up? Oh man, y'all are y'all are too funny. You're too funny. You, damn, you charge fifty dollars. Real? That's messed up. That is messed up. I bought my lasso at the Athena Market. I don't know. I bought it at the ninety nine cent store down the street. Well, it's not really ninety nine cent. It's like New York has these stores. They're not like ninety nine cent. They say they're 99 cent stores, but they're not really. They're like 99 and up. So I spent like $3.50 on that clothesline. Louie, can't just be asking somebody that. 
We will see it. I actually do need to get some more wine, but I'm only going to be on for another 15 minutes. $50 is a discount. Mm. I don't know about that. $50 is a discount. That's like all day. All day, $50. Bodyguard all day. Mod, live mod. What? <laughs> I know blunt mover. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good right now. I'm good right now. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh man, what snowman movie? It's it's too early for snowman. It's too too early for snowman. I'm still in summertime vibes, right now. I'm still in summertime vibes. I don't even know what that is. Let me, um, I'm going to freshen my, my wine. Y'all, y'all speak amongst yourselves. I'm going to get some more wine and I will be back. I'll be back. See you in a second. Snowman is a thriller movie. What kind of thriller movie? Well, <laughs> I'm glad y'all enjoy. I should start sidestepping off. snowman thing though <laughs> oh my god wait what would look cool with LED lights what did I miss what would look cool with LED lights I love LED lights hey Chad What's up? Oh, it's like a Stephen King kind of movie. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> right. Oh, with LED lights. You know what? Like, I thought about doing LED lights, but I don't have those that skill set. I have seen like some tutorials online, which as I continue, like this is my very first Wonder Woman cosplay. Um, if I continue, I might do something like that, like a like a rope light kind of situation. But I don't I don't have that right now. So it's just gonna be spray painted gold. That's the end of my uh, craftiness as far as this cosplay goes. Maybe I can upgrade it for Halloween. Maybe we'll see. We will see. We'll see. Um, a mystery joint. I'm gonna have to check it out. On that movie, folks getting their heads decapitated and replaced. What? Well, that sounds like something I would like, actually. That sounds like something I would like. Yeah, I have to check that out. It's just called Snowman Movie. That's what it's called. I did not hit 2,000 subscribers yet. No, I don't even know how many subscribers I have. Okay. Where do I see that? No, I have 1751. I think I lost subscribers. I lost subscribers. So no. I still have 250 to go. 
I think I'm at like a I'm at like a holding pattern. I still have 250 to go. I'm gonna do like something cool for for 2,000, but I don't have 2,000 yet. Speaking of which, y'all make sure to to um, to follow Blunt Mover, subscribe to Blunt Mover, my original mod. <laughs> I think they are are all subbed up already. The Wonder Woman from Batman vs Superman movie is by far the best version. I mean, I enjoyed her. I will say I did enjoy um, Gal Gadot's version of um, Bat of, of Wonder Woman. Um, the writing that was the best one of the DC movies for me. It was. I don't know how they're still making Saw movies. I've never even seen a Saw movie. He was talking about LED on my lasso. Like I was saying I was gonna make my lasso. And he was saying like this would be cool with LED lights, but I don't have that type of, um, I don't have that skill set yet. So I have a clothesline that I'm about to paint gold tomorrow. I don't have that skill set. So thank you East London guy. Are you a cosplayer? I'm curious because you you have a you have like some some suggestions and everything. Are you a cosplayer, East London guy? But yeah, this is a good this is a good size rope. This is a good size rope and it's nice and sturdy too. Nice and sturdy. No, okay, you're not a cosplayer. Okay. I was just curious. I was, you know, since you had the suggestion, I thought maybe you could tell me how to do it. I have seen some tutorials, though, on um, YouTube. If I can figure it out, like if this goes well on Friday, I'm only dressing up as Wonder Woman on Friday at Comic-Con. So if this um, goes well on Friday, I may um, do it again for Halloween, around Halloween. I'll probably do it again. And maybe I can upgrade it or something at that point. I don't know. No, it's not, there's this, there are these um, lights, like the rope lights, like the rope lights that have the lights inside the tube. Um, there are those type of lights that I can, that I can use and like repurpose into like a lasso situation. But for me, like the old school Wonder Woman lasso didn't light up. Like that's the new, that's the new thing. Um, it didn't used to light up. So I, don't, I personally don't need it to light up. It would be cool if it did, but um, it is gonna be dipped in yellow. It's gonna be in this. It's not gonna be in yellow. It's gonna be in the same paint. It's gonna be in the same paint as this, which is gold. It's gonna be in the same, same paint as this. I did, I did that for my first lasso, Blunt Move. I did that for my first lasso and it wasn't, it wasn't what it needed to be. It was too weak. Yeah, so this is going to be this. It's going to be this color gold. It's going to be this color gold. It's going to be my lasso, which is perfect. You like my pants? I love my pants. These are some of my favorite pants. We don't. We have a whole garment district here, so I don't need to go to Joanne's Fabrics. I can go to like the garment district, but these are not leather though. They look like they're leather, but these are. This is like one of my favorite pair of pants. Like I wear these pants. All the time like if I have to go somewhere and look like I don't know like I love these pants they look like they're leather but they're not I'm not going to Joann's fabrics I don't need to go to Joann's fabrics I have everything I need right here I have a can of gold spray paint that I'm spraying everything down I'm gonna respray my, my spray my new breastplate I'm gonna spray my lasso and I'm gonna be done I'm gonna be done yes keep it simple hello old Kai wow I'm glad y'all like my pants I didn't realize that these pants like I just threw these on today I didn't realize that my pants were gonna be like such a hit I normally I have on you know normally I have on something crazy today I have on all I'm wearing all black I don't think I've ever worn all black on stream before Lola overcomplicating shit. No, I'm not overcomplicating shit. One, the, my lasso has to be the right width. You know it has to be the right width. I'm just saying. It has to be the right diameter, and um, that's the that's what I found. <laughs> that's what I found. 
that's what I found. So that's what I'm going to use. Just saying. Hello, happy Tuesday, Mopar. How are you? Only if you dipped yourself in green paint, you'll look like Hulk. Really, Cortez? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. <laughs> the Batman. Cheers, hippie. What's going on? What's going on? How long I wanted the lasso. I mean, I've, I've had, I had a lasso before. I wanted it to be thicker. Like the lasso that I had before wasn't thick enough. It was just like, I went to the fabric store and got like a ribbon type thing. And it worked, but it wasn't what I needed it to be. So this is what I need it to be. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Hey, Big Will. Um, this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Hey, Garrick. What's up? Cortez gonna look like one of them college football fans. <laughs> Cortez, if you paint yourself green, you have got to send a picture of that. Like I need, like I personally need to see that. Even if no one else sees it, like I personally need to see that. If you are, if you are painting yourself green, if you paint yourself green, then I need to know. The wine is okay. It's a different wine that I'm, I've never had this wine before. I really just chose it because of the price point and I like the bottle, but it's, it's pretty good. It's not sweet, no. I don't drink sweet wines. I do not drink sweet wines. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's not sweet. You freaky heart in my dames. <laughs> I know, I do know what I like. Liquid Lola, pal. Exactly, I do know what I like. I do know what I like. Right, the first thing I thought about was Lou Ferrigno, too. That's the first thing I thought, it was Lou Ferrigno. What's up, Lolly? What's up, puppy? What's going on? What's up? My dog, you can't even see her. Um, you drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> Purple upper lip, blue bottom. Nah, I hate flashes. Yeah, I don't, I don't mess with extra sugar. Thank you, Okai. So sophisticated. Thank you, Asen. <laughs> I don't know how sophisticated I am. Sometimes I'm more sophisticated than others. A lot of times I'm just like a grown-ass kid. I'm good. Hey, 4 Dub Mob, what's up? What's up? What's up? They are coming out with a new VR headset? Really, Mr. B? Interesting. Where'd you see that? Where'd you see that? PlayStation? PSVR is coming out with something new? Like, see, I still don't have a PlayStation Pro. I still don't have a Pro because um, I don't even have a 4K TV. Come here, Lolly. You want to go outside? Go outside? You want to go outside? You don't need to go outside. I have to look... IGN. Okay. I usually follow like what's going on with IGN. I follow them on Twitter. I need to um, look that up. I will look that up. Thank you, Mr. B. Oh, and you sent me something. I forgot. If I paint my hair purple, you'll let me work at Volition. <laughs> well, thanks, Kovum. I can't paint it purple, though. Lola's hair is blue. Hey, Air. Hello. Japan this month, U.S. next month. Really? Listwitz! What's up? What's going on? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, Lolly is like, she's being weird right now. What kind of kid, though? Bossy bully adventurer. Um, I am not a bully. I've never been a bu bully. I have been a bit bossy. I have been a bit bossy. Um, but I'm a bit of an adventurer. A little bit. Pretty good, Listwitz. I've been, like, working on my Comic-Con outfit um, for Friday. I'm going as Wonder Woman on Friday. So I was showing people what I was working on. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, Mr. B sent me this. Oh, he sent me a link. Event tickets. Yeah, Mr. B, I think that that, I, I'm pretty sure that's like a scalper kind of person. A, sc a scalper kind of um, thing. You saw my paint job on IG. Yeah, so uh, this, are, this is part of it. This is part of it here, and I'm make I'm remaking my um, breastplate because I made a mistake on this one. So I have this one that I'm making instead, and I'm gonna paint this and mount it, and hopefully it'll be good. I think yeah, the Agents of Mayhem uh, thing happened, I believe. Coven was a big um, supporter of Agents of Mayhem. Oops. Adventure Kid 2, yikes. Yeah, you have to be adventurer. You have to be adventurous, I think, in life in general, right? That's why that's that's what makes things fun. The reviews completely ruined it. But what were people expecting though? You know, it's like what like with Agents of Mayhem, like we all know, you know, the Saints Row Mayhem, which I, I had a great time with Mayhem in Saints Row. But like a whole game of that? I don't know if I need a whole game of that. You know? Imagine me in high school. I would have went more. <laughs> you think so? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's where you got your, your tickets for Baltimore Comic Con. But I don't think that Baltimore Comic Con had the same restrictions that New York Comic Con has. New York Comic Con has very specific restrictions. I dealt with it last year. That's the whole reason why I wasn't even able to go last year to Comic-Con because of the restrictions that they put on it with the whole van, fan verification thing. Did they have van, fan verification in uh, Baltimore for that? Yeah, I don't know if you can solely blame reviews either. I, I mean, for me, someone who actually enjoyed Saints Row. I enjoyed Saints Row the third, um, the fourth one a little bit. Um, even I didn't really feel a need to have like a full um, mayhem kind of thing. Crackdown Borderlands hybrid. It was good. Interesting. I don't know. I mean, maybe if they want to give it to me for free, I'll play it. But I'm not going to spend money on that. People were already burnt out on Saints Row since they basically refused to make a game. You know, the problem with Saints Row is that Saints Row the Third was was good. Saints Row the Third was fun. I had fun with Saints Row the Third. I thought that was a fun ass game. The problem was that they did not do anything new for Saints Row the Fourth. They took the same freaking game, and you know, like tried to redo it, like reskin it in some way. But it was the same town. It was the same city and everything. And so they really dropped the ball on that. They really dropped the ball. Saints Row the Third was fun, and they dropped the ball on Saints Row the Fourth by trying to give you extra powers and the ability to fly and all of that. And that took a lot of the fun out of like doing your car and and all of that stuff. Like it took the fun out of that stuff. So once you're that powerful and able to fly around and everything, it's like what's the point? So yeah, for VIP, yeah, you had to bring ID and urine samples just to... <laughs> well that's how the whole I'm not VIP but New York Comic Con they treat everybody like that New York Comic Con everything is like you have to register you have to put your real name on there like your real name is up there Saints Row the 4th you didn't even need a card that's what I'm saying and I think that they ruined it because of that all you have is triple jump okay yeah, but they just, they messed it up. Saints Row the Fourth was a weird-ass game, and they, they, they couldn't come back from that because it was lazy. It was lazy developing in Saints Row the Fourth, and they gave people what people didn't ask for. Like, people wanted, like, a new Saints Row game, you know? Like, they didn't want the same freaking game. Like, oh, here, we're giving you the same game with the same location. Like, that's a cop-out. I don't like it when, when developers do that. It's not right. It's not right. How does one obtain pretty blue hair? Well, Lola's hair is blue. Parameters. Blunt, we can't help but asking for a friend. Well, I don't know. You gotta do your research, Para. 
Saints Row fight aliens and shit. Yeah. It got really weird. It got really, really weird. I know you were a huge advocate for Agents of Mayhem from the beginning, Kovum. I remember that. When I first met you, you were talking about Agents of Mayhem. Oh, blunt <laughs> mover. <laughs> oh, thank you, Roy. Thank you. Um... But yeah, like, I know you were a huge advocate for it. I just personally didn't give it a... I, did, I know I didn't give Agents of Mayhem a chance. Not because of any reviews. Um, just because I had other stuff that I was playing. And Saints Row wasn't really... The idea of another Saints Row wasn't really calling to me. That's why I didn't give it a chance. But if they want to give it to me for free at some point, I'm all I'm all in. Um, uh, cars was pushing cars out of the way. Hey, Ashy Larry, what's up? What's up? Aw, thank you. Okay, two star dog. It's always good to see you. Thank you for coming in here, girl. Thank you, thank you. Give you that review copy. Exactly. Oh wait, I wait, wait, wait. What happened? Hey Daniela. What's up? Why blue? I've always liked blue. I've always liked blue. Like whenever I make a character or um, you know, I'm able to customize my character in a video game forever. She's always had blue hair. Always. Always, always, always. So, it's just kind of my thing. It's just kind of my thing. I've always, I've always had, um, I've always enjoyed blue hair. So, so that's all. That's, that's the reason. There's no real, like, underlying reason for it or anything. It's, it's just always been blue for me. That's all. You're way too overhyped for Wolfenstein to... Oh, thank you, big player. Um, yeah, there are a lot of new games. MMO RPG. I'm not big into MMOs. Like, I played, um, and I guess I guess this would be considered an would this be considered an MMO? Like um, the DCUO online. I'm not big onto RPGs. So like DCUO, I played it, but it wasn't really my thing. It wasn't really my thing, but I I enjoyed it. it. There were no other games out like at the time when that like first came out. There were no other games out for PS4 anyway. So um, hey, Rock Dog, what's up? It counts. Okay, so yeah, not really, not really. I've never really got my my problem is the RPG part. Like the mul the massive multiplayer online part, I'm here for that. The RPG part is not really my favorite thing. Like I'm not like going in the menus and doing all that stuff is not like my favorite thing to do. Um, so yeah, but I'm doing it in Destiny, so it's kind of like you know. Hold on, I'm missing. I missed so many comments. My apologies, everybody. Um. Blunt mover. Oh, don't want me losing subs. Okay. I got it. I got you. I know what you mean. It's going to be awesome. You can finally wear power armor. Wait, I missed something. Oh, Wolfenstein 2. I never played Wolfenstein. I don't know why. Wolfenstein seems like kind of, kind of, um, kind of game I would like. So I, I don't really know why I never did. DCUO is too dry of an MMO. So what would you suggest as like your favorite MMO RPG that you play? Uh, SBO. Ah, uh, thanks, Rock Dog. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Croatia. I I like some horror games. I'm not like big into horror games. Um, I really don't play any. Like Resident Evil is like the most horror that I get. So I really don't play a lot of horror games, honestly. Star Trek MMO sucked too. Oh, thank you, Roy. Thank you. Thank you. Every Bethesda game is the kind of game you would love. You think so, Cobham? Brooke Lynn, your new name for me. <laughs> thank you, One Eyed Cat. How are you? Uh-oh. All right. Hear me out here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, I think, you know, when it comes to the MMOs, because it's like, um, I don't 
know. Like, you know, the way that they're set up, it's never really been my gameplay style. Because I love games with great stories. I love games with get, with great stories. And so once you put yourself and commit to, like, an MMO environment, like, you're committing time. You're committing, like, I have to be playing this game. I have to be in there. Because otherwise you miss stuff and you... And you um, are not progressing at the same level as the people that you're playing with and stuff. So, so yeah. Resonance class. New horror games are too insane. Not good for the brain. Interesting. That's an interesting thought. I'm in the pleasure zone now. <laughs> Thank you, Wad Cat. Is Liquid Lola the name of a hero, too? Actually, actually, kind of. Kind of. Let me show you. Um, I have some new artwork. I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna put this on the gram tomorrow. But let me. I will debut it right here and show you guys my new artwork. Hold on. Let me. I have to get it on my iPad. Hold on one second. Okay. Let me show you. Oops. Let me show you my new artwork. Liquid Lola is a drink that I made, but she's also um, a character. I want her to be like a superhero as well. Let me show you. It is not about to get Frankie. It, it's not that kind of picture, Blunt Mover. It is not that kind of picture, but I'm gonna put it on my um, I'm I'm gonna put it on my Instagram tomorrow, but I'm gonna show it to you guys first. Wait, where do I find broadcast options? No, visual effects. No. Where do I find the projector? I can never find the projector. Oh here it is. Okay. No, not that. This is Mr. B's. This is Mr. B's uh Lol Tech and Lola. I'll just show you that. While I have it here, that's Mr. B's Tech and Lola. Now it's Dark Lola, and she she only has black hair. But um, I can never remember how I how to redo this. <laughs> Hold on, how do I redo this? How do I do this? Oh, here we go. All right. Let me see. Okay. Bam. No, I don't. I don't. I don't do it. I don't draw it. But um, someone else does. So this is my new. Um, this is gonna be like my new logo and stuff. This is gonna be my new logo and stuff. And I want to do like a little. Um, maybe like a couple panels of like a comic. Um, thing or an animated an animated thing um, also but yeah that's um that's my costume that's my liquid Lola costume riding a star yes she's riding a star kind of like um, like the like what like the the green goblin the hobgoblin or something yeah so she rides a star she fights with her PlayStation controller. That's like part of her arsenal of uh, weapons. Is a PlayStation uh, controller. And no, no tutu, no tutu. My man drew this. My man drew this. He's an artist. Do the dab. <laughs> I want it to be like an animated. I want it to be like an animated thing. So maybe if um, if I can convince him to do yes a star surfer exactly like the silver surfer yes but like skating on the star like like that yeah so you guys get it first you guys get the uh, get the premiere first I'm gonna post it on my Instagram tomorrow but yeah so um, my man drew that my man drew it yeah <laughs> yeah. So it just you know it it took a, it took a while like it's hard to get him to do it's hard to get him to do stuff sometimes 
Yeah, it's a controller. It's my it's my controller, actually. It's my red controller. <laughs> it's my controller. It's my red controller. It's this. It's this controller. <laughs> it's this controller with the light beam and stuff, so. So yeah, so that's my new artwork. You know. I had this this before. But this is the new and this is like the official like the official um official, you know, thing. So something is too high up, Wayne. I don't make any I don't make any secret of that, Bram. The top flight security, right? Right. You guys are gonna have to be like if I can if I can get a like a cartoon or a comic series, then top flight security will be in there for sure. For sure. Dim your light bar. Controller lasts longer. I do have it dimmed. It is dimmed. It looks it, it is dimmed. It looks light. It looks bright on here, but it is um it is definitely dimmed. So I definitely have it dimmed. On here, everything looks like blown out. Like it doesn't look like this at all. Um, here, it doesn't look like that at all. Technically, controllers vibrate. What a weapon! <laughs> oh, the controller was high up, so it was hard to tell. Oh, okay, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But people who know know. It's not supposed. Like I'm not advertising for Sony here. You know what I mean? Like, so people who know, people who get it, who, who people who catch it, catch it. It's not, it's, it's not about the controller so much, so. But thank you for the feedback. I will, I will look at it. I will look at it again. So. Yeah. If Sony wants to pay me, then maybe they'll get a better, maybe the controller will be, be a little clearer for them. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, Zach, what's up? I'm getting ready to get off of here though guys because I want to play some Destiny. I've been working on this costume and I haven't been getting any gameplay in so. Um. <laughs> I don't play music. I don't play music on my stream brand. I don't play. I don't play music on my stream. I like to keep my streams. I'm not trying to do copyright infringement. You have an ugly Uncharted controller. Ew. What is an ugly Uncharted controller? Is it skinned Uncharted? Why is it an ugly Uncharted controller? Isn't it just black? My original controller died, so this is this is my second controller, red. I should have a blue one, right? But okay, Cortez. Oh wow, you're still uh. You're still playing Friday the 13th. Wow. I think you're the only person I know who still plays that. Um, yes, I do sing, Hellcat. I do sing. Yes, I do sing. So the music is, I will sing. I don't play any instruments. Well, I do play instruments. I play the piano and I play the guitar a little bit. My guitar playing is awful. Last time, I played guitar on stream one time and people said they wanted their money back and they hadn't paid anything. But I do sing. I sing for a living. That's what I do. Oh, it's camouflaged. Oh, you need to get a skin for that, Azen. Yeah, you need to get a, you should get a skin for that. Yeah, you need, Mr. B, you need to get a skin. You need to get a skin. Okay, yes, please follow me on Instagram. <laughs> What's up, T-Funk? Yeah. Why do you say what? I don't. I use them. You just got. You got a plat. Wait, what? You got a plat on GTA 5? What would you like to hear, Bran? I will sing one thing before I leave. You've had the original black, blue, and now white. I've only had the black and red. I need a blue controller. I need a blue controller. Cortez, I can't. I'm not even. I can't even talk to Cortez right now. You will never get the green lightsaber. Never! What's up, Garrick? 
Yeah, like get get some get some skins for your controllers, guys, if it, they're bad. Um, Uncharted controllers, not camo. It's an ugly shade of blue. Oh, I like blue. Really ugly. That's crazy, Roy. I don't know. I don't even want to know like how much time that that took years. I'm sure. A, a plat on GTA Five. That's crazy. Yes, I played guitar on stream and people wanted their money back and no one paid a dime. It's terrible. I'll play again though. I'll play again for you guys. I'll play again for you guys. I'll play a little bit for you guys. I'm not singing the Itsy Bitsy Spider. He's older than you, right? Maybe a little bit. Um, everybody can have a plat on GTA, even kids. That's true. Yeah, I can do Nina Simone. Yeah. You can make your own. I'm not making my own skin. What are you doing? You're just painting it? No, I'm not going to paint my controller. I'm not going to paint my controller. Um, let's see. Nina Simone. I know. Feeling good. Is that fine? It took you one year. That's crazy. Well, congratulations. Let me give you some confetti on that. That's like... That's amazing. Uh oh, dual shock battery level low. That's really amazing. Congratulations on that. I need to plug in my controller and I will do. Um... Oh, okay, real. All right. I will see you. I will see you, real. I don't want to mess up your happy home and all that. <laughs> yeah, order custom ones. That's what I'm talking about. The custom, the custom skins. That's what I'm saying. You need to order a skin. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, Jonathan Ernesto Gutierrez Gonzalez, como estas? Hey, John Feliciano. I'm getting ready to leave. I'm going to sing one song. I'm going to sing one song. Hey, Ninja Gaiden. It ain't happy, but thanks. Oh, my gosh. I'm not, I'm not getting into that real. I'm not getting into that. All right. So, this is for Bran. All right. Um... <laughs> You need to go outside? Outside? My dog is barking at me. I'm not sure why. Um, good night, John. Okay, Mr. B. I will. Um, okay. Uh, birds flying high. You know how I feel. Sun in the sky. You know how I feel. Dreams drifting on by. You know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. Ooh, and I'm feeling good. I feel like I started that too low. I need to start it higher than that. Let me let my dog out. I'll come back and I'll sing it. Um, I, I, I watched a total of three episodes. I watched a total of three episodes of uh, Star Trek Discovery. Original song on my own. I'm not singing the originals today. Um, the voice is better than guitar play. <laughs> I'm not a guitarist. I'm not a guitarist. I said I was learning guitar and I'm just not good. And I never practice, so that's why I'm not a good guitarist. Um, I should have really started that. I should have started that higher. Um, but I don't know the words. You know I don't know the words. You know I never know the words. I don't have a gaming chair, John. I still have this same old chair. I still have this same old chair. Hey, Janola. Hey, Scott. I'm good. How are you? You guys got here just at the end. I'm getting ready to leave. I'm not playing Guitar Hero. That's not my kind of game. That is not my kind of game at all. And a lot of those songs, like, I have to do for work, so it's kind of like, I don't want to listen to that. Like, you know, I don't want to listen to that outside of work. So I'm not playing Guitar Hero. Not interested in it. Not in the slightest at all, ever. Um, like, I sing. That's my job. My job is singing. So I have to sing a lot of stuff that I really don't particularly care for. Or it's not stuff that I would listen to myself. So, um, but I'll sing something else. I, I started that one too low. Thank you, John. 
Oh, thank you, Roy. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I'm doing something special for 2,000 subscribers. So, um, and I'm 250 away. So, please like, share, subscribe, all of that. Hey, ready to hit hot fire? Hit hot fire! I spit hot fire. I always do night broadcasts. On Tuesdays, on Tuesdays, I'm here in the evening. Um, on Thursdays, that's when I do my early broadcast. Uh, hey, ready to hit hot fire. I missed something. Watch you forever in a non-creepy way. Thank you, Roy. Yeah, Tuesdays, so for those of you who don't know, Tuesdays, Tuesday evenings, I always stream. Today I'm on a little earlier than usual because I want to get some gaming in after I stream today. Um, so, hey, Michael, wow, like everybody's coming in now and I'm about to get off of here. I normally start streaming at like 8, 8.30 on Tuesdays. Today I did it a little earlier because I'm going to do a gameplay uh, stream after this. So, um, so yeah. Waves like Carlton. <laughs> You've only caught me on Thursday. Yeah, so Scott, so on Thursday, I do early. Thursday I do early because then I can, you know, catch up with my European people and stuff. Hold on, my dog wants to come back in. But Tuesdays, if you if you subscribe and turn on notifications, also sometimes I'll do pop-up streams. When I'm like out and about in the city, I'll do like pop-up streams and you have to be subbed for that because it's not on PlayStation. It's not on PlayStation, so um, thank you, Michael. Um, yeah, I do weddings. Yeah, I do like weddings and corporate events, things like that. That's what I do. Yeah, I do like weddings and corporate events and stuff. So um, the game stream is going to be on, usually it's on Twitch. You know what? I think I'm going to stream tonight on, on YouTube. I normally stream my game, do all my game streams on Twitch, but tonight I'm going to do it on YouTube. So if, you know, for those of you who would like to stick around or whatever, I will, I will do it on, um, I will, I'll do it on, I'll do it on YouTube, I guess. You can't comment on those because you're on PS4 24/7. Yeah, so like that's the thing. It's like if you're if you're subscribed to me on YouTube with your notifications on, then you can catch like when I'm out and about and stuff. I'm not a photographer. I'm a singer, John. I'm a singer. It's every once in a while, if somebody has like enough money, like then um, the band I work with, the company I work for, will play um, like like you know birthday parties and stuff. But it's like these are like like really high end events in New York, um, so yeah. Santiago, hello Santiago. Are we assembling the fire team? Maybe, maybe. Today is gonna be Destiny. Today is gonna be Destiny. I've streamed other games, um, but today is gonna be Destiny. I'm on Twitch as well, just like with Lola, all together. And normally I stream my gameplay on Twitch, but I'm gonna do it on des on um, I'm gonna do my Destiny stream on YouTube tonight. Um, I've done some GTA on my streams before. I have done some GTA on my streams before. I, I need to go, I'm, after I get off of here, I'm going to um, pre-order Battlefront. I thought I had already pre-ordered pre it, but I don't think I did. So Every once in a while, um, I'll get hired for like a birthday party, if it's like a huge birthday party. Like I did like this birthday party once like in, um, in Miami, and it was like this huge thing, and... It was really ridiculous. Like at this person's like house, like their private home, and it was right on the beach. It was really, really beautiful. Um, Destiny is awesome, Kogum. Destiny is awesome. I'm not Black Canary. I'm not Black Canary. Bye, Johnny Gat. Good to see you. Good to see you. No, I don't jump out. Of, I'm a singer. I don't jump out of cakes. It's not that kind of party. It's not that kind of party. I'm a singer. I'm a singer. Oh, well, I, I'm, and I'm not going to be broadcasting on Thursday because I'm going to Comic-Con. So, um, so you guys will not see me this week. If you want to see any updates, you can follow me on Instagram. My Snapchat is the same as my Instagram, even though I'm a, an awful Snapchatter. Um, you're Roy Partland from England. Okay, I got you. I got you. All right, Michael. You know. Um, 
But yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to be broadcasting this Thursday because I'm going to be at Comic-Con and I won't be able to do... Like maybe if I if I get home late on Thursday, I might do like a stream or something. But I'm going right back to Comic-Con the next day on Friday. So Thursday and Friday, I'm going to be at Comic-Con. So you probably will not see me again until next Tuesday. And I will tell you all about Comic-Con. I'm going to be posting stuff on my Instagram. Um, I will try and maybe upload some stuff to YouTube if I'm able to. Um, I don't jump out of cakes. I do not jump. I've never jumped out of a cake. No, it's not Wonder Lola jumping out of a cake. I've never jumped out of a cake before in my life. I don't I don't think that people have enough money for me to jump out of a cake. So, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so, yes, Top Flight Security gets a day off on Thursday. I will not be streaming because I'll be at Comic-Con. If I can figure out a way to stream, um... I will. It just depends on the timing of it. I'm not sure what time I'm going to Comic-Con. I'm not sure what time I'm getting back home. Any of that. People want to be tied up with my magic lasso. Like, you know, it's like, it's a lot. It's a lot. But, um, but I will see you guys next week for sure. But please make sure to follow me on my social media. Um, I'm, I do most of my posting on Instagram. I do a little on, on Twitter, which is this, liquid underscore Lola. I do a little on Twitter. I do almost all of it on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, you will see exactly what's going on with me. And I and I respond back. And I you can hit me in my DMs as long as you're not sending me anything crazy. And I respond back. I will definitely. Um, I will definitely. Is that the real Raider Nation, Sam? I don't know if that's the that's not the real Raider that's not the real Raider, Raider Nation Sam. Hold on, let me see what's going on here. Let me see what's going on here. No, this is not that's not the real Raider Nation Sam. That's not the real Raider Nation Sam. So that there's an imposter Raider Nation Sam here. You're going as Black Hand Solo. I like that. I like that. Black Han Solo. That's not the real, that is not, that is not the real, um, that's not the real Raider Nation Sam. I went to the page, I went to his page. That's not the real Raider Nation Sam. So, thank you. I, you know, so I'm really looking forward, I'm going to post some stuff. If I get my costume together, I will post something on Instagram. Maybe do like a live video. Thank you, Blunt Mover. <laughs> You've been rewarded for your efforts. Um, but thank you guys. Thank you so much for, for coming in. I might do like an Instagram live stream or something like that. Maybe. Um, once I get my costume right. I don't know. I'll do something. I don't, I don't, I can't imagine like not talking to you guys until like next week all together. So I'm going to, I'll figure out something. Um, but it's not going to be like a normal situation. So if you're subscribed, um, make sure to have your notifications turned on. If you're not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And, um, and that's it. But thanks, guys. I'm going to come back with a gaming stream. I'm going to take a quick break, set things up, get my green screen up and um, set up. Yeah, he had the pick, but it wasn't real Raider Nation, Sam. He had no subscribers, so that wasn't that wasn't really him. And I'm subscribed to the real Raider Nation Sam, so that wasn't definitely wasn't him. And he will not he would never come into my stream asking to see my feet. So um I will keep working on the Batman costume the SVO just for you. Yes, clones are lame. I'm gonna let Raider Nation Sam know he had a clone in my stream. He'll probably he'll probably think that's funny. Um I don't know oh my controller's over there. Have a good night, everybody, and I will see you. Um, I will see you soon. Could go as Lando. You could go as Lando. Lando Calrissian. You know, uh, Childish Gambino is the, is going to be the new one. He's going to be the new uh, Lando Calrissian. That's great casting. All right, guys. Have a good night, and um, and I can't wait to show you guys my cosplay for real, for real. Like I know I showed you like all these bits and pieces, but I can't wait to show you for real, for real. So um, so have a good night, everybody, and I will see y'all later. Bye. Oh wait, I hit the wrong button. Damn it. Wait. My bad. Okay. Once again, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be streaming Destiny. 
I'm gonna be streaming Destiny. I'm trying to think if I'm gonna do it on Twitch or YouTube. I'll, I'll probably I'll do it on YouTube. So um, okay, bye. And thanks to my mods. Thanks Blunt Mover. Thanks Scoops420. Thanks Jay if you're still in here. All right, good night, y'all. See y'all later.